Uh, a new day it is. And some more GT League races we have. So. What's next on our agenda? We did the FR challenge last, so. Roadster Cup. Gee, I wonder what we're going to be driving here. Yeah, Roadsters. The Mazda Roadster. And uh, I know I have a Roadster. Guess what? I'm not going to drive it. I'm going to get the other Roadster. I'm going to get the old one, because I can. Can't stop me. Go buy a car. I got to do something with this 9 million credits. <clears throat> How about we just don't be mad? <laughs> just don't be mad, smile. Anyways, here's the, uh, N.A. Yunos Roadster. N.A. Special Package. <clears throat> Check out my package. It, it do be a package. Okay, let's look at the... There we go, that's a lot better. That's a lot easier to figure out what the colors look like. It's where there's a black I can choose, but apparently I can't... No, okay, no, there's no black. Never mind. <clears throat> Donate the $9 million credits to charity. Yeah, the charity of me. Real, and turning it into real money. Look at the headlights go up. He's all like, ah. That's cute. <clears throat> Best color these came in. And now I'm going to ruin it because I'm going to, uh see what nerds who still play GT Sport have made liveries for this thing recently. I have a feeling a lot of these are just like direct imports from like shit they made in 7, but still. Uh, Mazda, Yunos, search. Put an anime livery on it. If I find a good one immediately, absolutely. Good smile, Fox. Good smiles, Goaded. Love me, ooh. Oh, oh, what we got here? Wait, is that Callie? Hang on. Who, who that? That is not Callie. Very similar, but not. Oogie. Hi, Cameron. All right, waifu it is. Perfect. Just what I wanted. A cultured livery. Can't wait to see what stupid license plate is on the back of this. A wet fart. It's literally made of gas. That's why. <clears throat> A few things that are better in GT7. Honestly, playing GT7 and then going back to this, GT7 improved upon the, G the formula that was introduced in GT Sport in so many ways. It's so much better of a game just overall. Anyways, uh, Roadster Cup. One makes series of Moss Roasters providing entry-level race category. <clears throat> There's a touring car variant. I could be an absolute bastard and use that, but I'm not going to. So we got seven races to do here in our Roadsters, and um, yeah, let's just get started. Going to uh, Kyoto Driving Park Miyabi first. And here we go, first race of the night, let's do this. I mean, this is the beginner league, so... <clears throat> the the GT League strangely does not change depending on how much progress you have in other modes, so I think that Toa Turing car was a port. I don't know, Reaper. No idea. Anyways. Uh I haven't looked at the race details in a while. 
I mean, still no fuel consumption or anything like that, because we're in the beginner league. Force tires only. Six mile race. Cool and good. We're just going to leave everything stock here and on the hard tires, even though I'm in probably the objectively slower of the roadsters here, but let's go. <clears throat> Speed hunters. Let's do this. Harass the AI. More like just pass the AI. It definitely is an old rising sun. I don't know the historical significance behind it. Listen <clears throat> for Clubman 550 at Sakuba and GT7. Uh, any car that you can drive that will win the race, that's around 500 pp. I don't fucking know. <clears throat> I literally don't know. Alright, we're up to fifth. I can see the leader. With all these NDs thinking they're hot shit. Here I come. Jeez, hi, how you doing? What's up? Is that Robles? Is that what your fucking last name is? Interesting. <laughs> Robles, yeah. Charlotte Motor Speedway in this uh, ND right here. <coughs> Excuse me. No, he's done nothing to me. Why would I flip him off? I'm not an asshole. He's not wronged me in any way. Could this be a roval? No, it is not a roval. Oh my god, things are happening behind me. Someone missed the turn. Also, that rubber band immediately taking effect. So, if only I knew which button used the horn. Actually, is there even a horn in this game? I don't think there is. No, they added that in 7. Good new. No honking in sport. No honka donka badonkers. <coughs> Alphabet. It's a neat naming scheme. Animation was rent free. <laughs> there's that one, and then there's the new anime plot. Oh, dicks. Oh, hello. New challenger has entered the fray. I will do it for the Bush's Baked Beans Maple Flavor Beans. Because beans. I'm going to win. I got bumped in the final turn. I win. Aha! <clears throat> Get it.
Take that, fuckos. Oh wow, it's mostly Indies here. Indies nuts! <laughs> I'm so funny. I didn't even have a handicap bonus in that. What the fuck? Okay. Sure. Damn. Oh well, that's fine. Alright, first race done. Eventually I'm going to have to record these replays, and I'm not looking forward to that day, because I already got a lot of replays saved. Anyways, race one down, we got six to go. Next up, Willow Springs, the streets of Willow. Oh boy. Oh boy, alright. Well, here we go. Ought to be uh, interesting. I asked my favorite Greek letter, E. <laughs> the streets. Thank you, thank you, uh, Random Barn. <laughs> thank you. All right, let's go. Three laps. Five in the evening. Play of Let's. Uh, perhaps. Perhaps. I would have a Let's Play tag, but honestly, ever since Twitch added custom, like, uh, removed, like, the deep, like, uh, pre-made tags, and, uh, had the tags be entirely custom, I lost interest in using tags. Chicago street course is literally a street course. Where's the where's the pain? This and the Star G1. Oh, GT one's a fun time. Always cool to see like a series roots or like where it started, even if it is like primitive compared to uh, the rest of the franchise. Uh oh, I'm not paying attention to what I'm doing here. Old games are fun. You don't always have to... <laughs> that's that's the best thing about games, is they're never obsolete. You can play them anytime, except ones that are only online, and they no longer have online servers, and there's no fan servers. And I am stuck behind <laughs> this uh, whatever the fuck's happening here for third. Stadia. Stadia was dead on arrival. That was such an awful service from day one, and it never got better. Okay, it probably got a little better, but never got... It was all... It, it quickly got fucking destroyed by in GeForce Now, and oh my god. Alright, thanks Kobayashi for the easy pass, or Leaguer, or whoever that was. Whoever's in the yellow Mazda. Google's also, Google's, like, history of uh, starting a project and then abandoning it shortly thereafter. A final turn. Once again, weird use of quotation, because it is the final turn. Is. Wow, imagine that. They market the problem is they marketed it incorrectly. They're like, hey, cloud gaming, except you have to have a really, 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 really good and stable internet connection, and also you have to pay full price for every game. I think that was what was the big killer, was the fact that you had to pay full price for every game. And then also for the service. They didn't know who to market to because it wasn't marketable. Like, the only people who could really take good advantage of that were people who lived in already pretty, like, 
fairly middle class places with that already have really good internet. And those people already have like probably have decent PCs to fucking play their games on even better. Cause you can't market it to like the poor person living out in the fucking boonies because their internet isn't good enough to use it. Stadia was a disaster, and it was always going to be a disaster. We're, we're losing nothing from it uh, going away. Let's just say that. So what you're supposed to do for that turn is slow down. Um, apparently I keep forgetting in the memo. Hey, I found the line. Those that used it, yeah, all two of them. All two of the people that used Stadia. Not fast. Sometimes slow is fast. Slow in, fast out. What was fast, etc. Oh, no clean race bonus, damn. Oh well. I did in opposite land, also in reality land. <clears throat> Still cloud gaming. I guess it's for one of those things where, like, if you're, like, living at home with good internet, but you don't quite have the money for, like, or the desire for to get like a modern console or a good enough PC. Or if you are a crazy person, we're going to imagine you are by the way for race three. Or if you're a crazy person and want to play fucking like the new Assassin's Creed game on your goddamn phone, uh, <laughs> you know. <clears throat> Yeah, the appeal is you don't you don't need the hardware to play the expensive hardware to get a enjoyable gaming experience, enjoyable in air quotes because uh latency is very much a thing with cloud gaming. Take an HR drags around their ring and take a stock me on and see how it goes. Yeah, exactly. Sometimes slower is faster. Not even that, like, sometimes it's better to actually, like, take a turn a little slower and smoother, and you'll end up getting a better exit and more lap time than attack, 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 attack. Also, also, Ulva Racing. <laughs> if you uh, go slower... If, if you uh, go slower in turns... Uh, carry less speed, you're using up your tires less, which means they'll wear, they'll wear slower, which means you'll have more speed than the people who uh, don't save their tires towards the end of a run. That's how I won my, like... That's how I beat a 5k I rating guy in an ARCA race. Chicago land. I was very slow at the first half of the race, but once the second half came around, their tires started wearing and mine uh, were just fine. Goodbye. So who wins? No one, because all the cars will be destroyed and no one has fun. I was going to say, oh yeah, <laughs> I was going to make another comment about the whole cloud gaming thing, and then there's, and then there's a uh, Nintendo who reaps a different benefit from cloud gaming in the fact that the Switch is not powerful enough for a lot of modern games that were not uh, developed correctly for the, like, developed with the Switch in mind. 
Did they release cloud versions of those games on the Switch? I don't know, honestly, it'd be a toss-up between the L... I think the LMP could probably have the advantage over the F1 car due to, like, hybrid acceleration. And, like... Yeah. I mean, F1 also is really good on acceleration, but I think the F... the, uh... LMPs would be more stable. I'm basing this off of absolutely nothing, so... I have a roof and other don't. Uh, because I'm too cool to put my, uh, put my roof down. The others are like, want to feel the wind. Fortunately. I mean, there's nothing wrong with loving the Switch. I like the Switch. I hate Nintendo and their business practices, but I like the Switch and the games that they're for it. Mess up your hair. Dude, my hair is already fucked. Uh, Hello. What's up, Landry? How we doing? Nice move, idiot. Try again. Oh, he's actually trying again. Okay. Uh-oh. Oh, no! I got jabated. I got the I got the run on the exit though. Oh, lines compromise, speeds compromise. Cars. Have you seen an MX5? These things are not large. The track is also pretty big. Yeah. All right. Well, there you go. You answered your own question. <laughs> Honestly, uh, I don't know what I was going to say. I don't have a lot of games for my Switch, but the games I do have are very good. Like Mario Odyssey, absolute banger. Pokemon Legends Arceus, fucking banger. <clears throat> I'm really looking forward to playing Milf and Dilf when those come out. Also, uh, probably going to get NASCAR Rivals on the Switch since it's technically a new game. So, might as well add it to my collection. Big slide. Oh, Landry had a bigger slide. Let's go. Turn on the Joy-Con drift. Just be like me and never use the Joy-Con. <laughs> Pro Controller uh, Supremacy. And that the game that sucks. Which game are you talking about, Jabber? Because uh, I did not mention any games that sucked. <laughs> I just can't take my Switch places. Oh, uh. Okay. I guess I'm in a unique situation where I never... <laughs> my Switch stays in my room. So I do not take it on the go, because I don't go anywhere except work. I ain't taking my fucking Switch to work, fuck that. People will steal it, or the incel will probably like smash it on the floor or something, because he's a fucking crybaby and has anger issues. You know, we're going to Tsukuba for a race fall. Just uh, moseying right along here. Broken arrows and all, I can still get drift. Hmm. Doesn't surprise me, honestly. I don't know. 
Mine hasn't started drifting yet, so... I'm lucky, I guess. Look at this rainbow of Mazdas. And there's my fucking dumbass. Wow, who you are. I just wonder if modifieds can race here. Uh, in iRacing, you can. Just fucking grab the modified, grab Sakuba, and there you go. Boom. Modified's racing here. Yeah, I think that's just like a analog stick thing. It's just a feature that like some some controllers have wor have it worse than others. It seems like Nintendo has it the worst right now with their Switch controllers. Oh, oh, it's the yellow one again, wrecking. Okay, just off the track. I see a pink ND up here. It's cute. Oh, okay, there goes another one. Had it the first. I think the problem is they... Well, I'm not talking like this current generation. I'm just talking in general. No, it's beginner league. The AI are not good in the beginner league because they're beginners. And Nintendo didn't help by, like, trying to deny it. <laughs> Love this pink gimmick. This, this pink indie. Sakuba wet. Okay. Uh, load up GT7. There you go. Wet Sakuba. It's already happened. It's even got pink rims, that's fucking adorable. Color matched rims, you love to see it. Why did I try to outbreak the morons? I say, oh boy, here we go. The things are about to get. Oh, he's going defensive! Without even thinking about it. Pink Miata for sale. Ooh. I'm in the lead for now. See what happens, uh. Around here. All right, final lap. It's a Cuba. Slight cut. Whoops. Didn't mean to do that. Still got one of the MX-5s behind me. On my ass. Good run out of the hairpin. Oh, here he comes. It's gonna lay a block. Oh! He read the block.
Oh, he went wide. Forced an error. Go! Yeah, there we go. He couldn't hold it. And I got the gold. Oh, yeah. Love to see it. Oh, hey, the other NAs were at the front. Jabated. <laughs> Jabated. Jabated. Sub Zero. Thanks for the resub. How we doing? All right. Well, uh, we have reached the halfway point of the Roadster Cup. So, next up, we're going to Blue Moon Bay. Infield A. Again. Let's go. Play five years. Oh, God, it is. Dude, that's too long. That's too much. Da 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 da. All right, I know like one or two. Ha ha, I'm funny. All right, let's go. Blue Moon Bay. Infield A, three laps. Love that sound. Oh, no. Definitely not. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> there, there, there you go, Reaper. There's your uh, confirmation. Although I have a sneaking su suspicion that probably didn't even realize you were talking directly to them, because um, I don't want to get into it. People are uh, very ignorantly oblivious to their existence. Gonna put a one on that and move along. <laughs> boy, boy. Outside maneuver. For a second there, I thought that motherfucker was driving on the apron. Doing the Apollo lines. Fastest way around is the shortest way around. Uh, complex drink is not a racetrack. It is a car testing uh, circuit. It is used for testing the different characteristics of vehicles, not for racing. Which is why it's never raced on in GT3. Oh, just fucking undress DeSimone. Like he was sitting still. Oi. Okay, I'm not paying attention anymore. I think it actually does. Yeah, the only time you go to Complex Dream is license tests and also the, uh, one of the arcade time trials. That's it. There's no actual racing there. Because, say it with me, chat, it's not a racetrack. Thank God it ain't. It would be a terrible racetrack. Fuck that. It is a track. It is a, it's it's a track. Because it is a road. Why would it be a terrible race track? Because it's not meant for racing. All the passing zones. Hey Reaper, are we at three yet? Just because you can pass a car into a corner does not mean it's a racetrack. Two and a half. All right. Fair enough. 
It's it's not meant for racing. Just look at the design. It's not meant for racing. It is several different chunks of like a testing of like uh, sections that are meant to test different uh, different things about a car connected by like a straightaway or a hairpin or something. It's not like this where it's a racetrack with set different types of corners that flow into each other. Wow. Also, the snake tracks from Forza are, are similar. The full track is definitely not a r good racetrack. There, some of the shorter snake tracks you could argue because they have more a little more flow to them, but... Um, they're kind of in the same vein. It's just that Ford's is like, check out these tracks. We're going to race on them, even though they're not really good for racing. I'm now thinking of that hilarious, uh, the old, uh, the old, like, Forza Championships or whatever in Forza 2. I think it was Gliber that showed us this, showed me this. Fucking. This was eSports in 2007 or 2008. Uh... Everyone was in a speed 12. Uh, T. Uh, everyone was in a speed 12, and no one had a brake pedal. No, everyone refused to use the brakes. Everyone rammed each other, and that's what esports racing was back then. It is the most disgusting thing to look at to nowadays, and I'm so glad esports has come a very long way f since then. Literally, so it was it was a race around one of those snake layouts, and it had the uh, the extremely tight like uh, uh, switchback section, hairpin section, and look like into the first hairpin. No, it's, it was not an iRacing racing lobby jabber. Um, the first hairpin, whoever was in first, they were going into the wall at two hundred miles per hour, and not by their own accord. Not by their own accord. Yeah, it was. It was literally demo derby. Like it was not racing. It was it was fucking derby, <laughs> a derby. Anyways, Tokyo Expressway, race. Uh, what are we at? Race six now. This guy is racing, and that was like that was the pinnacle of Forza Esports then. Like, that was... Those were the best of the best. Beer tea, hold him. <laughs> yeah, beer tea without the tea. Oh, God. We're going this way. Oh, don't hit the wall. is being weird. Um, <laughs> special stage routes walked so Tokyo Expressway could run. Yes, BLT is a sandwich. That's the joke. <laughs> Bacon, lettuce, tomato sandwich. Not a stream, it's a sandwich. What would make you think otherwise? This is not a stream, it's a sandwich. It's really just a hoagie in disguise. Listen to Psycho Stick, they're funny. Fan theory, uh, yeah. There's also been mock-ups that people have made that, like, have routes 5 and 11 connect. Got, like, a couple hairpins. Dude, I'd be like, man, that's fucking sweet. Oh, they're they're hopping the curb on the chicane. Excuse me, Yamanaka. 
how hard that song killed me. <laughs> it's really good. Oh yeah, that, that like test config of a uh, Route X that they use to like, te I think they use that to like test downforce properties or whatever because there's literally like an upside down turn or a 180 or like a 90 degree bank turn or some shit. Sandwich or a taco. Mm, tacos are technically sandwiches, so I guess it'd be both. Are better special stage routes or Tokyo Expressway? Um, I have a nostalgic bias towards like Route Five and Eleven. Not so much Seven. I I could take or leave Seven, but I like the Expressway tracks. Hot dog is a uh, a sub, therefore it's a sandwich. That's called slipstreaming, Jabber. Yeah, Route 7 was, like, meh. It was just 1 and 3 Reaper, wasn't even in 2. That's actually a pretty good, pretty good observation, Zero. Oh my god, you're right, yeah. They like they they didn't bring it back in GT two and then when they brought it back in GT three they redesigned the uh one of the sections like in the eleventh hour. Yeah, I think so. Cause the only thing that changed about Route 5 through the years was like the aesthetic and making it more like a series of like adding more like connecting streets basically and barriers that you can't drive on but it like gives it the more of a series of roads instead of just this looped road double down in Tokyo yeah like route 5 I would probably say is my favorite GT street course within the context of this conversation, but I like the uh, Tokyo tracks. Special club, man. Eh, special. Special's got more going for it. <clears throat> Alright, one race to go in the Roadster Cup. Going to Autopolis. This has been a 40-minute <laughs> series. We are in the Beginner League. This might be the longest GT. I don't know if this will pass 5 or 4, but this will be a very long Let's Play. Yeah, Tokyo Route 246 is like based on an actual bus route or whatever. Which it turned into a really fast flowing street course that was actually really fun to drive. Vegas GT, what the fuck is Vegas GT? Oh, I have not seen the Vegas GP track, or at least I don't remember it. Yeah. Alright, three laps of topless short, let's go. Let's finish the Roadster Cup. Autopolis, that's the name of the track. Yeah. Seven was just kind of like. Seven was very forgettable. We're out seven. That is. Fire Bridge. Odd. Oh, Cape Ring is fun. I like Cape Ring. I know a lot of people don't like Cape Ring, but I do.
inside of the corner. The, the, the early GT walls will grab you. Yeah. <laughs> Route 7 was like, welcome to Tokyo Extreme Racer. Except it's only the fucking, uh... That section I can't remember the name of now. That's just really straight. Yeah, Cape Ring is rad. I like it. Check out these colors. This has been a very colorful cup. Yeah. To Tokyo, I guess, I think it's east. It's basically like, what if Route 7 was actually fun? Excuse you. Oh, there he goes. Oh, big impact. Holy shit, M. Rossi. French M. Rossi. The man, the myth, the legend. And yes, I know about female Imrossi in Forza 7. She's a different Imrossi. It'd be stupid to think otherwise. Literally, probably like either daughter or some sort of uh, relation to the Imrossi of old. Other two can be toss ups. Um. I think the, what is it, the north course, the, the, the one that's like a, uh, compressed C1, I think that is probably has, is the most consistent in terms of what cars are good on it, or can be fun to drive on it. Because it's kind of just, it doesn't have any, like, Disgustingly long straights. Bayshore, I have no idea what you're talking about, Ludo. Not a fucking clue. Seven, okay. I don't know. I'm just I'm just brain vomiting what I think are opinions, but I'm also very stupid and like to contradict myself all the time, so I don't even know why I'm trying to debate. Oh shit, I'm gonna have to block. I didn't have to block. Brain vomit is coherence. <laughs> I try. I'd probably fail a lot, but I try. I win! Clean sweep of the Roadster Cup. Let's go. I'm almost at 10 million credits. We're almost there. Very cool. All right. Well, with that, we finished our first, uh, championship of the night. It only took me nearly an hour. There we go, Roadster Cup done. Hooray, how many wins were we at? We're at 35, so, uh... Yeah, uh, on to the next. I think it was they're going for the whole refresh thing, pig. That's why there's no like legacy tracks in 
export. All right, so what we got next going on in the beginner league? It is Ford F one fifties. Okay. Press. I don't even. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. So we need to get us a Ford F one fifty F S V T Raptor because this is a one make series. Oh hey, daily workout. I forgot about that. Okay. Well, we're starting with uh, getting a new car. Up right. Yeah. I think it was overall a smart decision. Because again, this, this was kind of like a refresh of the uh, franchise, whether that was intentional or not. Now, I do like the updated uh, tr uh, legacy tracks that they've in included into 7 so far. Also finished an achievement in the Roadster Cup. More time driven, 12 hours. Hooray. Give me that XP and mileage points, I suppose. All right, now let's go uh, buy an F-150. Let's go. Get my truck built for tough. Oh. God, I hope there's an anime livery for this thing. Like, I really hope there. I can find an Itasha quickly for this thing. New tracks or discussion for best original. Oh, absolutely, Reaper. Like, every original track in this game is an absolute banger. Like, the the only one that's even, like, a bit mid is Dragon Trail Seaside. But everything everything else is a banger. Uh, this is not the... I think they... When they originally launched this game, I think they intended this for me... Intended for this to be GT7, but they kind of uh, went back on that over the years. Okay, OG Highland. High speed ring is in Gran Turismo 7. Reaper, are we at 3 yet? <laughs> Begging you. Alright. Why are so many people making liveries for this thing as of, like, the end of September 2022? Your call. Look, they're obviously only here to say something stupid without thinking. It's usually negative. I'd, I'd say at least give them a little hip check. Pink! Alright, I'm going to change my search parameters here. Uh, let's see. USA. I. Like, I can only deal with stupid for so long, so. T I know it's not the right thing to do. Because, gotta be inclusive, but. I can only deal with so much stupid for so long. No older. Oh, fuck you, game. Alright, fine. You know what? Fuck it. I'm just not gonna. I'm just not gonna paint it. Fuck my dick game. Claim provisional restate. 2014, 2015. And then sport came out in 17. Anyways, F-150 Raptor Survival, the final word in American Mick pickup trucks, the Ford F-151 make event. This is the final stand for America. Trucks in America. We're actually going to uh, a couple of the dirt tracks, which, which is cool. So, But we're starting with a good old American pastime. Oval racing. We're going to fucking Northern Isle. Driving a motion type S. <laughs> Zero. Very funny. Yeah, this was a hit. This game was like originally a hard focus on esports. And everything I'm doing right now as of this point in the game, as of the GT League. The GT League straight up did not exist when this game released. All we had was the other three campaign areas. So, yeah. I'm starting eighth. This is only a 10 truck race, okay. Interesting. So, yeah, I cut off all the bloat. And the, trust me, Gran Turismo really needed to get rid of bloat. They were, uh, 
Yeah, Kat is doing her thing. I don't know why she does this now, but she does. Um, she just screams into the void. But, uh... But yeah, GT was very bloated. Doing the autos. Eh. Just the fact that there are 1,200 cars in GT6. Like, you can make the 50 Miata, 50 Skyline joke all day, every day, but there's just too many cars. We had a lot of variety of cars, which was awesome, but there was just too many. And a lot of them were low-quality models, so... Again, this was a necessary refresh. Oh, check out the stripes on this dude. This dude fucking Viper fan in this guy. A low quality rip, yeah. It's not a Siva Gunner high quality rip, unfortunately. I mean, rip, we're gonna rip the top here in one and two. But, um. Cars and PS2 are aging like milk. I wouldn't even. Honestly. I don't think the PS2 models were bad. I honestly did not have a problem with the standard models actually existing, it was the fact that they existed alongside the premium models, and there is a massive, uh, like, ratio in terms of how many standard to premium models there were. It was just bloated. And then to, and then once they released this game and kind of had that refresh going, they added the GT League, and then they bloated the shit out of this. <laughs> they bloated the shit out of the GT League. Just the textures. I don't know. Of course, I'm not really a graphics whore anyways. Like, I don't care if something doesn't look 10 out of 10 perfect, amazing, realistic. Oh my god. Fucking... I'm literally having sex right now by looking at this. I really don't... Oh, I'm in the lead. <laughs> I just realized. Um, I don't care. Like, the graphical difference between the standard and premium cars, I honestly never noticed really a difference. I realize I'm an extreme minority in this, so like... Feel free to call out for me being a worthless, stupid idiot, because I absolutely am for having this opinion. Because how dare I actually like things. <laughs> Etc. Anyways, we won. We won the oval race. I don't know. I never noticed the textures. Of course, I'm probably an idiot, well, I am an idiot, but I'm also used to playing PS2 games even now in the year of Art of War 2022, so, I don't know. Yeah, and mine stink. <laughs> Alright, we survived the Raptor Race 1. Tracer. Dude, I hate... When I was like, when I was playing Type 4, we're going to All Saints next. When I was playing Type 4 and I would mention Unbounded, people were just like, Don't mention that game, it doesn't exist. I'm like, no, we're talking about it, it does exist. It's not as bad as you think. It's... Mid as fuck. It's not a Ridge Racer game. But it's not a Thou Shalt... He Who Shall Not Be Named situation. It's not Persona Non Grata. Like, if it was not Ridge Racer Unbounded and it was, like, just Unbounded, it would be received a lot better. So he most wanted 2012 for Ridge Racer, yeah. It has the same exact problem where it's, like, it's not an amazing game, but it's, a it's like, mid-tier. Like, it's, a, it's an enjoyable experience. Um, but people hate it because of the name.
And if you hate a game because of its name, well then, you're stupid. <laughs> the end. Like, I'm going to judge this book by its cover and nothing else. Like, oh, this game isn't called Super Spanky Cockwomble 2015 Ultimate Edition. No buy from me. Because I hate arcade research. Yeah. Like, no, we're talking... I'm gonna... We're, we're gonna talk about it, and we're gonna treat it as a video game, because it is a video game that exists. I'm sorry that your fucking... Uh, cum circle... Praise to fucking... Bamco every single night for Ridge Racer 8. That's never gonna happen. And if it does, it's gonna be a shitty mobile game. Um... Like, shitty mobile crash... Cash grab. Fucking... Suck my dick. <laughs> Got news for you. Honestly, 7 was a really good, solid game. I liked 7 a lot. It was very much getting stale at that point, because it kind of got... I, I like the boot, like the Nitrous Air Ridge Racers, but the formula very much got simple. Like, kind of simple. So I don't know. Uh, here's the, here's a, another case of me like brain vomiting without actually thinking about what I'm saying and probably contradicting myself five times per sentence. Twenty twenty one M four. Oh shit! Is that the one of the new like mega snout ones, fiends? Shout out to BMW actually using the Mega Snout like in a good application with their uh, LMDH car. It actually looks really good on that. Anyways, welcome to Rhino GT4 Plays a Gran Turismo game where I drive cars and also rant about how the internet is fucking stupid. While also... Um disclaiming a million times that I am extremely insecure about my opinions and I think they're terrible and bad and that's why everyone hates me and I stay inside my tiny little bubble. And the snoot, oh shit. Oh, I'm paying attention. Ooh, we're drifting. We're drifting. Okay. Two trucks having a race at Ram Ranch. Actually, I think one of the races is Fisherman's Ranch. If only we were driving Dodges. We would literally be at Ram Ranch. Find a place to read a good book. Hot, steamy algebra. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, that's BMW that's doing that, yeah. Every company, every, like, major company is just scummy nowadays with uh, trying to find every way to nickel and dime their consumers, because it's all about profit, baby. Somebody for being a shithead over GT7. <laughs> There's a reason why I don't uh, extend my time anymore and haven't for a long time. I literally don't know who what that is, Reaper. Never heard of Darker. Uh -huh. 
I mean, I was just using that as a personal example of mine. Oh, Dakar, okay. Yeah, a new Dakar game's coming out soon. Kind of stoked for that. I don't know if I'll ever play it, but I'm stoked for it. Circle jerk. It's awful. Like, there's one reason and one reason, well, I say one reason. There's one huge reason why I'll never become more popular than I currently am, and that's because I don't take bullshit from the fucking uh, crybabies that want to uh, express everything they hate about everything and be like, <laughs> I'm here to express the joy of video games, not the hate of video games. And for that, I will remain forever remain inside this tiny bubble. Going through some shit. I know I saw a traction article about it, but apparently like they're rolling back some of the uh, features they promised on launch. To like future updates. Except they have to be my opinion that matches it to me. <laughs> You're homosexual for liking game here. On the roadmap, uh... Yeah. Discord thing? Oh, okay. You know what? I don't even want to want to know. I can imagine, and that's bad enough. Go Steve Mauled. These are the ingredients <laughs> to create a gamer. Everybody's waifu is trash. You take that back about Ellie. She is my waifu. She just doesn't know it. God, that sounded so disgusting. I'm never going to say something like that again. Ugh. If I ever end up this is a 16 truck race. I just realized. Okay, those are this is our largest GT League field yet. Go show how much I'm paying attention. And now we're back to 12. Cause we're going to the dirt. Heading to Colorado Springs for race three. Let's go. Rhino the Grand Four. Thank you, Mora. That is disgustingly accurate. Um. Anyways, if I ever, like, act like, enter a parasocial relationship with somebody, uh, please tell me to fuck off. And get my fucking head back on straight. Instead of having my head on gay. Oh, hey, it automatically switches to dirt tires. Cool. Alright, our first dirt race in GT League. Let's fucking go. Give myself a weight and power penalty. Cook meth for fucks. Oh, TCS was turned back on. Turn that shit back off. Oh, no, they don't, Mora. It's literally just a fucking uh, echo, like, not echo chamber, but uh. I don't remember the word. It's literally just a fucking, like, hate. I don't know. Oh god, I remember that. That was that was one of the greatest moments of all time, Reaper. Love that. Do you want to admit that? Like, literally, there's ways to say, I don't particularly like thing. Here's reasons why. And you can say it in a non-toxic way. <laughs> I don't like Talladega, the racetrack. Uh, I think, I mean, I'd probably express it in a express my dislike for it in a toxic way sometimes because I hate it that much but like I don't I'm not a fan of pack racing the track is too big I don't like the track is too large it doesn't provide for the, get, allow the cars to spread out which leads to massive crashes 9 times out of 10 
and I don't like, I don't watch racing for crashes, I watch racing for racing. <laughs> And then there's another example I saw who uh, did it in the express their dislike of something in the uh, complete wrong way uh, after the Texas race they're like Texas sucks they need to bomb it sir <laughs> poor choice of words there no just bomb the track fuck them that's sir that's a poor choice of track how dare you not agree with my opinion? Like, no, I agree. The current fucking layout of Texas sucks. There's... it's not very good. It's your word choice. <laughs> I guarantee they learn nothing from this. <laughs> And I'm not saying you can't dislike things. I'd be a fool. Like, you can absolutely not like something. Or even be like, well, it's not really my taste. But here's what you do. You say, like, if it's not your taste, it's like, oh, this isn't really my taste, so I'm not going to... I'm not going to follow it. It's not... I'm, I'm going to not involve myself with this since it's not in my taste. What you don't do is be like, ah, this fucking sucks, it's stupid, I'm going to argue with everyone on the internet who likes this, and be like, you're stupid, this is dumb, I've never touched a real boob, no one ever loved me, my parents had a rocky divorce when I was two. Uh, the, the part of the asphalt that's had, like, PJ1 applied to it has been ruined, pig. Uh, the, the bottom two lanes that are actually, like, not blacker than the blackest black times infinity is apparently, like, fine. I actually listened to the, uh... I listened to the, uh, Dale Jr. download. Uh, he recently interviewed Chris Busher. Um, after the Texas race, and they were talking about it, and he's like... He said, while the bottom, like, the bottom two lanes, the gray part, is, um... It looks like it's aged. It actually has... The asphalt hasn't, like, really aged at all. And that's also kind of contributing to... The racing not being as good. Because the track is not aging and therefore... We can't search for lanes. But we also can't search for lanes because... 75% of the racing groove has been ruined by some... This fucking sticky shit. That they keep putting on the track. Stupidity. I too hate myself. Oh shit. Oh god. Yeah, Emerald. Dude, is the S15 guy still around? <laughs> Remember the fucking S15 guy who, like, Basically, like, a game is good if it has the S15 Sylvia in it. If there is no S15 Sylvia in it, it's a terrible game. I win, by the way. That was kind of a rough race. I was very much autopiloting that through the whole time because I was ranting, but... And it doesn't have to be, and it shouldn't be. Like, GT7 isn't GT4. If you want to play GT4, go play GT4. Don't expect other games to be like that. Nothing else matters. Never cared for what they drove. Never cared for what they did. I don't know. <laughs> kind of like the stiff camera. Uh, I prefer a looser camera, but I also don't, like, hate it, Hydros. Like, I've kind of gotten used to it, basically. Anyways, race four, we're going to Fisherman's Ranch, so... 
This would be the funny haha -ha Ram Ranch if we were in Dodges. But we're in we're in Raptor, so Raptor Ranch, I guess. It's not good enough. I don't give a fuck, Ludo. There's also another thing that kind of grinds my gears is the people who who are complaining about the updates, GT 7s updates not being good enough. Like, bitch, listen. You're not paying a dime for the, the content in these updates. And they're releasing new shit every month at a pretty high quality. Game development is not a fucking copy-paste, I'm done in 10 minutes deal. They, we are being spoiled for content, to be perfectly honest. The fact that we're getting at least three new cars every month, and we've also received a brand new track that has never been in GT before, as well as three new layouts of an existing track, including a rallycross track. Like, shut your whore mouth. Stop expecting the world for nothing. Yeah, people think that, like... <laughs> Because they're a fucking two pump chump, that's how game development works. Games were completely on release. I mean, that's another. That's the problem entirely that I have with the gaming industry nowadays. But that's not what we're talking about. Like, I. I am actually. Like, I am of the opinion that when a game is released to the public, it should be in a completed working state, not a beta. <laughs> like a lot of games nowadays are being released as, basically. Or even an alpha, in some cases. Battlefield 5. Um, like, it should be feature complete. Uh, bugs are f fine. If you have a buggy launch, whatever, that's fine. But, like, the game should be released in some sort of a completed state. On day one. 42. Honestly, both could apply. So, want more races? There's plenty of races! There's literally a hundred hours of content already in seven. It does not need to be a 7,000 hour fucking journey. It's fine. There's nothing wrong with it. Oh, that's why I, I usually wait to play, to buy and play games, Beam. Because, like, I know uh, the game as it is on day one is going to be nothing like it is on year two. So I'm going to wait until year two to play it. Uh, obviously some exceptions, like GT7, because GT7 is already in a good place. And it's only going to get better, uh, I hope, as time goes on and more stuff gets added. Um, also, Spark the Electric Jester 3, just a really good game that was actually completed. Uh, what the fuck? Uh, completed, like, upon release. Love that game. Amazing game. Go play it. It's on Steam. Soundtrack's fantastic. Listen to it on Spotify. Yeah, thank you, Zero, for buying the game for me, by the way. It's, that was the best, like, however much money you've ever spent. actually probably my game of the year, and even though I've only played like two games released in 2022. That and GT7. <laughs> I don't know. But anyways, that's an entirely different rant that I could spend hours on, is the gaming industry in general. We're talking about the fucking uh, turbo virgins who will never know love, true love and affection in their life. Unfortunately, I'm sort of one of those, but at least I'm self-aware enough to not be a shit person. Um. <clears throat> but yeah, th those people. Hey, level 28. Group 2. Oh, yeah. Like, there's definitely, like, race types that should be in GT7 that aren't yet. And like, yeah, I agree. There should be, like, Group 2 races and maybe some Super Formula races. But there's also a lot of content. Like... Oh hey, St. Croix. Our first race here. I'm gonna do the A circuit. 
backwards. Ooh. But like. Um. I don't know. I guess because I be, because of my experience with GT7 where I have well over 100 hours of drive time in it, uh, I thoroughly enjoyed what I did in the game. Like, it was a fantastic driving experience. Um, I felt satisfied with my, with my playing of GT7. So, that's why I have a problem figuring out how people are like, there's not enough races in the game. There's not you know, why isn't this in the game? The updates are are lacking, even though we're not paying money for them and we're getting high quality content. It's like, uh, uh. yeah, like legit. Like I've been I've been meaning to like make I was gonna make a tweet about this, but I never actually tweet my thoughts unless it's like I'm super sad. I'm going to. I. Uh, Go fuck myself or something. I don't know. Um, but Gran Turismo 7, legit, the best racing game I've played in like two console generations. Like, it's the first racing game I've played in years. Years. Like, over a decade, probably. Where. I enjoyed the game, like the driving and the racing, so much that I didn't even care that I would had to redo races. I just enjoyed it that much. I was having a great time. Progress was not on my well. Progress obviously was on my mind, but progress was not like the number one thing I cared about because the actual driving and racing was so good with the AI. Like, GT7's AI is legit. One, the best AI Gran Turismo has ever had, and two, some of the best AI I've ever actually raced against in any racing game ever, period. They're very good. Yes, they are absolutely brain dead when it comes to pit strategy. Well, when I say two console generations, I mean mainly like the PS4 and PS5. PS3... I'm okay. I'm trying to think of like canonical, like the last game in terms of release date uh, I played where I enjoyed the driving so much that nothing else really mattered to me. My first thoughts are either Grid One, uh, Forza Motorsport Two. Or Project Gotham Racing 4. Those are like the first three that come to mind that were released before GT7 that I enjoyed as much as I did GT7. Oh, I'm already in the lead, by the way. I've never played Motorstorm, so. <clears throat> Like I have to constantly defend it. Yeah, uh, I'm with you there, Emerald. That's why I don't. That's why I stay away from the GT community or literally every community. That's why I'm stuck inside my own fucking bubble echo chamber. Again, hello, Gino. I'm I'm mid rant, so I'm, I apologize for not saying hi earlier. Um, but yeah. Good. Uh, yes and no. The problem is, like, I want to go outside my bubble, but every time I do, I like everyone's too toxic. <laughs> what I I, I want to have like discussions. I want to hear like legitimate concerns about. I, I want to hear people enjoy games. Like, they can mention shortcomings, but I want to hear, listen to people who enjoy games be like, well, I didn't really care for this, 
but I really enjoyed the game, you know. It's like, eh. There's all there's obviously extremely bad echo chambers. Look at uh fucking I don't know. The, look at the other the toxic side of the RGC. The echo chamber of everything sucks. Where's Ridge Racer 8? Like, fuck that shit. Oh yeah, the fucking... The wrestling echo chamber is stupid. Where it's like, AEW's great, WWE sucks, you're stupid for liking... We, Lamau, 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 hashtag elite, hashtag... Uh, Nick Khan is my waifu. <laughs> or Tony Khan, excuse me. Tony Khan, right? I always get the cons confused. And then on the opposite side is WWE is the best. AEW stupid. Fucking uh, Vince McMahon did nothing wrong. Hashtag uh, marry me, uh, Charlotte. Here's a picture of my penis. The thing, the, the thing that most keeps me contained within my bubble and also keeps me, my anxiety high and my insecurities through the roof is the fact that no one knows how, no one knows how to talk about things, like discuss things anymore. Like no one knows how to not be toxic. Like, we can talk about things we like, we can talk about things we dislike. That doesn't mean we have to be a fucking trash pile gremlin <laughs> when doing so. Vampira, I know nothing about that. What are you talking about? Yeah. Like, it's, it's just... I don't want to get too deep with this, because this, this is already far too deep, and I've been ranting about this for an hour and a half now, but... Um, oh yeah, social media ruined discussion. Like, not even social media, just the media in general. Like, again, uh, what, what gets the most attention? Hate. That's why people hate so much, so they get the most attention. If you like something, you'll get ignored. Because... People like... People are attracted to hate. As like a society. Our society is attracted to hate. It's like like what news articles get the most clicks? Hate articles. Uh what videos gets what YouTube videos get the most clicks? Clicks. Hate videos. Hate drama. Drama hate. That's that's you know. What do what does the news mostly focus on? Murder, hate, hate, murder. Hell, they don't even report, report on COVID anymore because it's not what people want to bitch about. It's not it's not the end thing anymore. Therefore, it's irrelevant. It doesn't give them the fucking views. Social media. Oh yeah, the the thing with social media is it gave a lot of people like there's always been like the loud morons, but until the internet, the rise of the internet and social media, they were contained within their fucking circle of being ridiculed for being a moron. But now, with the internet, they've all found acceptance in each other, and it's growing like a fucking virus. And we're all stupid and hateful. I've won the Raptor Survival. I didn't say anything about it other than uh, trucks.
Those are pretty five pretty easy races. The one makes are going to be easy, at least in the beginner league. So, yeah, that's done. We've we finished our sixth the uh, GT league. We're at forty wins. So, uh, I guess now we'll prepare for the next thing and then uh, rant more about soupy people. I don't know. Power of rant. <laughs> yeah, I survived. Okay, I've had a drink of tea. Let's see what's next. Stars and Stripes is next. It's going to be a long one. We have nine races here, so this is one of the more bloated ones. Oh, boy. But this is a series for American cars, so I have quite a few in my garage. However, what are we going to be going up? <laughs> cat tried to... Cat just kind of fell off my computer desk. Whoops. Um... Jesus, these are all, like, the main, like, opponent cars. Okay. Well. Shit. I don't know what to use, then. Hmm. The obvious choice would be a snack. That would be the obvious choice. It would be, it would be a very obvious choice to use a Viper. It would it would be so obvious, like, you have no idea how obvious it would be to just buy a Viper and go, man, it would be, it would be crazy. Like, like, imagine, just like, buy a Viper. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> Bought a Viper. That's that's the joke. The obvious choice and I'm going with it. All right. So let us see if there's a cool livery for this thing. Cool livery would be nice. I like focus or something. That would have been funny, but no. Oh, uh, boy. All right, might have to scroll a little bit here. Find anything decent. I really do not like GT Sports, like, sorting system here by, like... I, I want to look for, like, the top liveries, not just old stuff. Or stuff that has been made every week. Kerchow. There's two Lightning McQueens. Gotta be something here. What is this? Meh. Oh my god, the Lightning McQueens. Raise your livery up. Oh, do you? Richard Petty. Alright, you know what? Fuck it. Let's see. Let's let's find out. See if this works the same as 7. Yeah, yeah, check your status, all that stuff. I really don't care about this menu because it doesn't help me. I've completed 100% of the campaign, apparently. I haven't. Um. Alright. Friends. Oh god. Oh, it's different. Alright. Uh, 2698. Gallery. Livery. Yo, shout out the fucking that thing. W, Mercedes, Nissan... I'm looking. I'm looking. I'm looking. Oh, hey, here it is. The O2 as well, sweet. 
Fuck it, PRC. Viper. Hell yeah. Big livery on page one. Eh, I want something a little more colorful. There we go. Alright. We are snacked up. Oh, that was a fucking cool Reaper. Anyways, now that we've I've spent way too much time trying to find a livery for this thing, let's race it for a very long time, because Stars and Stripes, the race to find the fastest, most menacing American sports car. Can you handle the power? I certainly will try. We have nine whole-ass races to do. So, uh... Let's get started. We're going to Blue Moon Bay, but we're not doing the oval, surprisingly. We are doing the infield circuit, but not the infield A circuit. We're doing the infield B circuit. Then I'd care to admit. <laughs> yeah, like what? 30, 40 liveries up there? But nice. Alright, here we go. Snack is loaded. Alright. So we have a Mark 1 GT40 on the pole. I'm just gonna keep things stock on the hard tires. See what happens here. We got three laps. 6.30 in the morning. Let's go. Born the sun. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. 12 car race. Let's go. This is very much the more, most varied field we've had yet. I think even... Compared to like the Sunday Cup. Oh. There we go. I haven't done the B circuit in a long time. It's a lot shorter. Excuse me, Corvette. Long bridge at the lake. Over the lake. Excuse me. Actually, gonna be a quick race. Three laps here. Hey, fresh. Oh. Newer snack. Oh, he's gonna cover. Nice try. Nice try, asshole. Oh, we're going up. They just kept moving up. Please. It's like a nice comfy slip. It do. It do look like a nice comfy slipper. Alright, here's the leaders. We got... Well, we had a Shelby. <laughs> it's Shelby Cobra. We also have a GT40. Retrace her tracks with R Force physics. It'd be easier. Or snack, but I'm driving an older snack. Couldn't handle the lack of brakes, really. <laughs> just, just uh, beginner league things. All right, this Viper's actually doing better than I expected, considering there's a GT40 on pole. You know what that means? Time to down tune. Aha. And the star and the stripe. I 
don't know what that means. Shout out to the fucking Jew in the, uh... Raptor. Or Joe. Or whatever the fuck it's pronounced. That guy. Alright, good race one. Close Europa. Uh, I don't know. I don't think so. Yeah, I know Zhou is an F1 driver. Zhou Guan Yu. I am very aware. Alright, time for Big Willow. Firebird on pole. Ooh. Interesting. Alright, well, time for penalties. <laughs> Max weight, minimum power, at level one at least. Your Trans Ams are fucking cool. <laughs> Excuse me, pardon me. Is that a new is that a newer Ford GT up there? Hold on. Oh no, it's a Corvette. For some reason I thought that was like modern GT. No, it's it's a fucking Corvette. My eyes don't work. I don't have eyes. I've never seen Redline. <laughs> and a Mustang and a Camaro bullying each other. It's like NASCAR. Mustang versus Camaro. And here comes the snack. Oh, well, there's the pole setting Trans Am. <laughs> He's already down to seventh. Very American uh, striping on that Cobra. Oh, ease off the track. <laughs> Rip Cobra. Again. Take it easy around here. Did run off. Oh god. Oh, I did not know that. I kind of I I was like, alright, I'm gonna watch WRC this season because it's fucking cool, and then I watched the first three rounds. Oh, goodbye. Goodbye, Weber. And then I watched the first three rounds and then just kind of did not continue watching because I'm a fucking idiot. But, uh... Yeah, shout out Rovenpera. Wait, how the fuck... So what happened to, um... God damn it, what's his face? Who was, like, dominating the championship early? Can't remember his name now. Shot to bed. Oh fuck. No, not White Tannic. It was uh, it was not a person. Who was basically like the best of the not Sebastians for the first like three rounds. Yeah, Thierry Neuville, I think. No, it wasn't Elfin Evans. I think it was Neuville. Neuville. I thought you meant youngest ever. Champion. A little less impressive now.
Oh, Jesus Christ. There's a turn there. Oh, he is the youngest ever. Okay. I'm getting my fucking paths crossed. Or, I'm getting mixed signals here. Because no one does the same, the same flavor of fact-checking ever. That's fucking wild. Ooh. Not gonna lie, I'm kinda stoked for uh, WRC Generations. Cause that's gonna be the swan song for Kyloton and I'm going to be... It's probably going to slap. I'm hoping that it slaps. I win, by the way. Oh, that Mustang was a Group 3 road car. No wonder it was so fast. Okay. Hey, clean race bonus. Let's go. Clean racing in America? No way. Wow. <laughs> this will be a good place to have the replay. Willow Springs. Little big Willow. Alright, two races down. Seven to go. <laughs> Stars and Stripes. So, uh, naturally, let's head to Interlagos. A very American racetrack. We have a Nova starting up front. Oh, shit. Brazil has stars in his flag. You know what? Close enough. And there's a lot of flags that have stripes, so... Checks out. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Three laps in our Lagos. Let's do this. Stars and stripes. Race three. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh. Oh. Oh, the old car's getting bullied out. Oh my god. Dude. That dude really said be gone, boomers. Holy shit. What an animal. me. A lot of old cars in this race, at least in the back of the field. Oh, oh, excuse me, pardon me, excuse me, pardon me. I thought he was going to defend right. He did not. Oh, God. Falling apart. Oh, someone's off. Like a C3 Corvette. Oh, the rejoin! The unfortunate... Oh, Hiraguchi's pissed. Brake checking him. Uh, I haven't even updated iRacing for the new season. I haven't touched iRacing since the last time I streamed it. Very burnt out. Very depression. <laughs> And there goes the Cobra. Right on cue. Cobra goes off track. No, it's not hell. Is hell in high racing? Thought it wasn't. Oh, okay. Goes to show how much I pay attention.
Alright, catch the leader. Who the fuck is leading? Is that the Nova? You just fucking scooting? Oh yeah, that's the track. I think Keenan was hyped for that track because it apparently was used for drifting as well. That is the Nova. Dude, it'd be scooting. Oh god. The Arctic Circle Raceway? Sure have not. Get back here! Never mind. There he goes. Summer horror horsepower versus like 390. I think I'm at a disadvantage here. Oh, please make the turn. Thank you. Duh. Trying to go defensive. I'm pushing too hard, sliding the car. I'm breaking too late is what I'm doing. That's gotta be wild. It's like a GT4 24 hour endurance race where day never, night never comes. That was a Chevy Nova that I just passed. Alright, can't wait for him to have to block his ass down the straightaway. Fuck, here he comes. Oh, there he goes, he went off track, okay. Unfortunately, the Nova was too much for for him. Could not control it. Oh, yeah, it's a SEMA car, yeah. That's right. Big speed. Clean. A clean dub. Very nice. Alright. Next race. On to race four, going to St. Croix for one single lap around this 5.8 mile A layout. So, this will be a quick one. At least these races are short-ish by comparison to others I've been doing. Considering there's nine of them. I got a GT40 starting towards the back. <laughs> Got a Camaro and a couple old Corvettes starting up front. Alright, let's go. Race 4. St. Croix. <laughs> Final lap. Oh, we're going the other direction. Were we doing the backwards in the trucks? I think we were. Or maybe this is the backwards, I don't know. I wasn't paying enough attention. Ooh, the GT40's got golf colors. That's cute. 
Oh, there's a turn here. Car was uh, understeering on the brakes. Unfortunately, the only layout of this track I even remotely remember is the C layout. That's used for like circuit experiences. Oh, and just, yep, like clockwork, there goes the Cobra. There's a split window Corvette. The 63. I'm already up to fourth, okay. Very patriotic Viper up here. Corvette as well. It's only half patriotic. This is the, uh... America colors are only on the bottom half of the car. Ekans. How loud it's snack time. <laughs> Looking for the bits. Shit, 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 shit. Alright, we're good. Everything's fine. We're good. Yeah, it's like a it's like a uh staple reaper. <laughs> like, oh look, the cobra. Oh, there he goes off the track. I would just have a Camaro up here, all right. <laughs> Evolved snack. Otterbuck. <laughs> Are you watching animal porn? That's a that's a uh, thinly veiled who's line reference. Be <laughs> there you go, little limp. All right, you got it. You got you got the joke. Thank you. <laughs> P. This is a turn that never ends. It, the only thing I remember about that was the beginning and just them losing their shit. Right, you. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. We're good. We're good. Shout out Alolan Raichu. Badass surfs on his own tail. I win, by the way. <laughs> the new Viper was uh, trying to catch me very quickly. Didn't get me in time. Haha. Uh -huh. He's been out snacked. Fucked idiot. Fucking zooted. <laughs> Exactly, fiends. I can eat. That's that's the uh, the height of that bit. Anyways, on to race number five. Dragon Trail C. Sark Gardens. 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 Gardens is the track. I don't think I've ever seen the shiny alone ride shoe. Oh yeah, didn't her like fucking like beat thing like malfunction and it just greatly increased the tempo of the song? That was hilarious. There was there was that and then also Wayne not knowing how to spell Howard. Oh god. Oh I'm not paying attention. Oh I've oh my god. 
I've killed a Corvette using a truck. I was not paying attention at all to what I was doing. Holy shit. Alright. Murder. Murder at the at the gardens. <laughs> They're dead, Jim. I literally pushed a motherfucker into another motherfucker. On the cops, and there goes the Cobra. <laughs> Not as violent of an off this time, but still. Oh, three wide. This isn't working. The Mustang, please, please, please. This still is not working. Cool. Alright, well that was, uh, interesting. <laughs> Made it through the ordeal. Excuse me. I should stop the car. When I'm playing with followers, uh, probably never because I only do single player. Unless I happen to be playing iRacing and just kind of stream snipe me. <laughs> iRacing is like the only time I do multiplayer in anything at all, ever. We now must go back to the whole I'm stuck in my own bubble thing. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to winning that one Forza League in a Casey Kane painted Dodge Dart. Oh, gee. Oh, God, it's the Nova. Oh, fuck. Hi. <laughs> Howdy, partner. I was not ready for the Nova. And it's a Brazilian driver, so, uh, extra fear. <laughs> Why do I hear Doom mu music? down the straightaway. I 
was a little early on the brakes. It's fine. Yeah, I was really hoping he'd go wide on that left. He did not. I did it. Okay. <laughs> it's fine. We held off the Nova. That was spooky. That thing is fucking quick, man. Ugh. All right. Well, five races down. Four to go. Race six of stars and stripes. I'll say it's village. Backwards. Oh boy. This one will be interesting. Three laps too, so this will be a longer one. A Mustang. We got a Viper. We got a GT40. A Dodge Super B. The Nova's here. Oh God. <laughs> A purple Hellcat starting in directly in front of me. Ooh, it is 9 p.m. as well, so it's going to be a uh, almost at fully at night race. Here we go. I hear a helicopter. Here's the plum, uh, the plum car. Oh, I thought I had enough room in the lane. I didn't. Just barely misjudged that. Hi, Camaro. Hi, Danny. Um, it's fairly similar. I, I can see the uh, resemblance. Oh, all right. Well, that's two cars I've now punted out of my way. Vault, nah. I don't see Grindelwald. I see Iger definitely. I haven't seen yet a Cobra flying off the track. Wish I'll say it's had a jump. <laughs> like we're doing stars and stripes. I'm on race six of nine. Nice. I'm not 100% sure, but I think so. Alright, the fuck is Rush driving up here? Eight seconds ahead of everyone else. Definitely a staple of the Viper is the V10, the Grunt. FKRX. What the fuck is an FKRX? <laughs> 
almost caught him, so we can almost find out, <laughs> solve the mystery of what car this is. Oh, it's the uh, the other Viper. It's the newer Viper, I think. Oh, e ah, ooh, ah, e ah, ooh, ah. okay. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Don't follow him. He's having his own problems up there. He's having his own problems up here. A lot of fucking power. And smooth. Well, he's definitely got the power advantage, that's for sure. Oh, yeah, the Horizon cover car, yeah. Alright, final lap. Oh, Jesus Christ, okay. I did not stop in time. Well, didn't really defend that, alright. Probably didn't want to get his ass blasted again. Or he wants to return the favor here. Turn feels a lot tighter going this direction than uh, going forward. Oh, fuck. And he's hanging behind me. Track's actually really awkward to drive backwards. It's like none of the apexes flow correctly. here a few times. <laughs> yeah, it's really awkward in reverse. I did it. Yo, it's a Viper Podium sweep. Let's go. You love to see it. Faster. They feel slower to me. Like slower and more awkward. Well, anyways. Uh next up, Majior, the East Circus. We're doing the uh not the full Majior circuit here. We're not doing the short short one either. Here we go. We got Nova starting fifth. Yeah, it just doesn't flow right. Mm. Excuse me. Hmm. All right. 
Here we go. Race 7 of Stars and Stripes. Let's do it. Or it all says, yeah, God tier. Absolute banger. Love it. Look at this big boy. Passed him. It was a little dirty, but passed him. This is going to be an awkward breaking zone. This Hellcat. Defending the inside. And I'm really bad at the breaking zone for this turn. Hi, Camaro. Hi, Camaro. Did it. Oh, God. Hi, Corvette. All right. Oh, that's right, this track's a bastard. It, we do just a full regular lap, teasing me all the way up to almost the greatest hairpin ever, and then we turn here instead into not the greatest hairpin ever. Bastard. Oh, big dive on Nova. Oh, that was a big dive. I don't know why, but some looks off with the GT40. Something about it ain't don't look right. Maybe it's because it's a Mark One, and I'm so used to seeing like the Mark Two. <laughs> but it just it just looks strange. It's a mark 100%. Yeah, thought so. Got it in sometime in the 60s. I don't know. It was the Mark II GT40, that's the one that, like, won Le Mans, right? It was the subject of uh, the Ford versus Ferrari thing. <laughs> yeah. So that was, like, what, 66? I think that was the first year of the Mark II at Le Mans. Don't quote me on that. I, I'm guessing here. That's what's throwing it off, okay. I didn't even realize that was what was throwing it off for me, Reaper. That's snake. I am, in fact, snaking. I'm driving a snake, trying to hold off a Nova. Snake and bake. Oh god, big slide. Now right, we're good. That little extra runoff there. Bacon snake. What is this? Metal Gear Solid 3? Snake eater. That's the joke.
you win. Oh, this is a 66 model? Hmm. I thought the Mark IIs were... Well, I guess some teams were using Mark Ones in 66. I don't know. I don't fucking know, man. I just know I win the race, and we got two more to go. Here in Stars and Stripes. And my nose. Oh my god, my nose. Alright. Oh boy, Tokyo Expressway. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. I think the Mark IIs were like the heavy hitters, but there's also some Mark I entries in 66. Broom. All right. Oh, wait. The track is wet. Oh, my God. It's raining. Holy shit. We actually have a wet race. Holy fuck. I actually thought this was only in the fucking Northern Isle shit. No, we actually have a wet race. All right. The track is wet. So we got three laps at wet uh, Tokyo Center. Oh my god. Track is narrow. Yeah, I have no fucking clue, Reaper. See, I expected the Corvette to swing to the right. That's why I swung left. Uh, he, he did not do that. race on a wet track. As long as it's not novel. <laughs> Daytona. Oh Jesus Christ. Okay, you know what? That yeah, that was that was a misjudgment by me. That was a that was a me error. Absolutely fucked that up. I have to say the uh the, the wet road does not feel much different. <laughs> Feel the same amount of grip. Oh, geez. There's a wall there. Right, they do on road courses, Ludo, but um, it's not on ovals. 70 Super Beat, my beloved. <laughs> Wasn't that pretty much your mascot? During your time with sport? <laughs> that was a tight pass. Oh, yep, I know what I'm doing. I don't. Absolutely have no idea what I'm doing. Kinda, I guess. In a way. You know, sort of. Oh, uh, we're skidding. Oh, camera's going on the other side of the wall. <laughs> USS Biggie Thickums, yeah. The legend. Shit. Keep hitting the wall.
I know it. I know it. I know it. That Spaniard in the Nova this time. I think that's the Spanish flag. I'm probably wrong. I think it was the first time I didn't finish last. <laughs> But Reaper, they rage quit, therefore you were still last. Lamal, Lamal, Lamal. Absolutely I'm driving the blood of heart. Still in the community, that's unfortunate. I don't even fucking remember who it was, I just know they were a crybaby about being slow or something. I don't really remember how much of a fucking whiner baby they were, really. Yeah, the Nova is adding excitement to these races. He's just staying on my ass. But I keep getting the dub. I literally don't even remember who the person was, so I, you know, shout out. Finally, my depression memory loss does something good. Okay, one race to go in Stars and Stripes, and it's finally done. We're going back to Willow Springs. But we're doing the streets of Willow this for, for the finale. To the big Willow. This is going to be a uh, wreck fest. I'm going to be moving a lot of cars, probably, because this is a very, very tight track. <laughs> the streets. Here we go. Final race of Stars and Stripes. Let's fucking get this over with. The series has well overstayed its welcome. Excuse me, pardon me, sorry. Oh, jeez, Louise. Oh, man. Trying to sneak my way through without hitting anything or hitting one. Oh, goodbye, Cobra. <laughs> there he go. Oh, yeah, that guy. Okay. Yeah, no, he was a baby. He, he, was, a, he was a shit. Uh. Hi, Corvette. Hi, Corvette. Pardon me. Fuck those cones. That one just kind of slid. Didn't even flit. What? I, I, went, I tried to be clever there and go for like a, use that extra bit of road for a wide entry. Almost forgot to actually turn. Uh, 
Alright, it's the, uh, the Mustang Group 3 road car. Thank you, Twitch. Thank you for connecting me to the chat room. Appreciate it. First. I mean, to be fair, those guys are the gasoline. <laughs> Corvette! That body roll. Back on telling this week, thank God. I hope that person got their head on straight after the whole uh, fallout. Insert one of the three pieces, oh god. Nope, ah oh, well. That is, uh, that's unfortunate. Like, come on. <laughs> what rational human being tries to, uh, use... Like... <sighs> the white privilege thing was fucking hilarious. The white privilege thing was the most hilarious thing. Everything about it was wrong, even the, the claim of person being white. Alright, that went pretty well. well. I got a clean race bonus at the Streets of Willow. Let's fucking go. I'm actually God. You love to see it. There's layers. Oh, good, it's an onion. I almost want to know, just out of morbid curiosity, but, like, that's definitely a uh, DM story if you wish to tell it. Anyways, there's Stars and Stripes done. All nine races, finally. That took fucking forever. That took another hour. So... Yeah, there's that. Next up, I guess we're racing Nissans. How many, ra how many wins do I have? 49 wins! We've done 49 races in... Seven leagues. <laughs> Goddamn. <clears throat> I took another sip of tea. So uh, that means it's time for to move on to our next league. Bigger league, it's the GTR Cup. <clears throat> Luckily, this one's only uh, five races. So... Limited to GTR non-race cars. I guess the recommended uh, class is N400. Here's what's available. We can drive the safety car, which is hilarious. And at least as far as the first race, here's what our opponents are going to be. Um, what do I have? In my, I only have the new GTRs in my garage. Well, that's not going to do. I don't want to drive a new GTR. I want to drive an old one. I'm going to buy an old one. Because I like buying cars, and I'm trying as hard as I can to stay under 10 million credits, although it's becoming more and more difficult. <clears throat> Alright, let's see. Where... Okay, so the least expensive is the uh, R32 V-Spec 2. Because these are, these are sorted by uh, cost. But I kind of want to get the R33. It's only like 1.1100 uh, credits more expensive. 
I'm getting the R33, fuck it. Fuck it, I say. If I looked at the car info- oh yeah. Oh yeah, the uh, the Gran Turismo car flavor text, I forgot about that shit. That shit's cool. Midnight purple, because that's the only color for this thing. <clears throat> and I'm absolutely keeping it like this, I'm not putting a racing livery on it, because, ugh, oh, midnight purple. Oh. People shit. Sounds like me at work with the incel zero. I'm the bully because I don't take a shit. <clears throat> I'm the only one who doesn't take a shit. Alright. Well, let's go GTR racing now. Nissan GTR Cup. A one make race for the GTR. Featuring Nissan's iconic sports car. I like this image, by the way, this poster, with like the the different ones down the generations that are in this game. That is fucking cute. That is very cute. Anyways, five races, two of them are taking place at Tokyo, including the first one, the east outer loop of the expressway. So uh, let's go. Like, oh no, I can't be a shitty person here. Might as well leave and play the victim. So, probably something like that, I assume. <clears throat> Honestly, that's similar to what the incel was going to do. Here. Because, uh... He was straight up about to quit and get a different job because of all the bullying he has to go through here at work. By bullying, he means me not taking his shit and calling him out for it. But then on his like very last day, like the last day before he was gone gone, he went back and decided to not take the new job and stay here. suck zero but it's honestly better to get out of those toxic friend groups than to stay in them and suffer it sucks they had to be in them in the first place but you know true colors don't shine so brightly or as bright initially I guarantee you there's a bunch of people who used to be part of, like, my circle who think I'm a fucking worthless piece of shit now. And honestly, they're, they're kind of right. I am a toxic fuck. I'm trying to not be, though. Vaguely veiled jealousy. <laughs> God, one of those people. Stop doing cool things. I wish I could do cool things. Wee. Grape soda. Yo, we getting that lean? Please no. I'm sorry for saying that. Oh, jeez. I was not paying attention to the road. Oh, there he goes. Into the wall. Suck me, Weber. <laughs> I win. <laughs> the whitest thing you ever said. That's impressive, really. <laughs> Almost got... The, oh, we got the double. Go! It's only been... Yeah, it's only been not even three hours yet. I'm only on my fourth fucking championship here. My fourth series. Tonight. Oh, here comes the lads. I think the modern GTRs might have a little bit more straight line speed. 
a little bit more. Watch the car chain. See a big scary red box in OBS. Oh shit. Okay, big scary red box went away. Finally so Oh wait, what? Dude, when was this? I don't remember that. I don't remember that at all. Ooh. That was Hellsinger. I don't remember who showed up to that, honestly. I'm gonna be perfectly honest with you. <clears throat> and I need to play that game. Line 3, power up for the 480. That's a fucking powerful as fuck inline three goddamn puns. Yeah, but I okay, who specifically within the extend? Because I don't I'm, I'm getting lost here. I'm sorry. My memory's not g good enough to pick up these vague clues. I'm, I'm, it's entirely a me issue. Oh, okay, that chuckle fuck. Alright, I got you. I didn't... Was that him? I literally had no idea he showed up to that. I do not recall, even in the slightest. I never had direct interactions with him, so they're... Well... From what I remember. Oh, hey, I actually have a handicap bonus. Let's go. Stuff. Isn't he, like, low-key racist? Which is, uh, disgusting. Alright, race one done. Race two. Blue Moon Bay infield B. For five laps, interesting. That's for- that's who I thought you were talking about. God damn it, now I'm even more confused. Oh! Now I know who you're talking about. Okay, wow, it- oh, fuck me, I'm so sorry. Holy shit, that brain cell was laying dormant. Alright, I, I, I understand now. I am, I am on this, not only am I on the same page, I finally found the correct book. I'm pressing the wrong button. I wasn't even in the same library for a moment there. Holy shit. I... God, I hate how stupid I am. I really do. <laughs> this is what I get for trying to remember the, uh, the less good people that have been removed themselves from this community. Whether through my... through, uh, their own volition or, uh, not their choice. And speaking of people who probably think I'm a piece of shit... ...and would be correct. Honestly, after the uh, the kind of character uh, investigation we had, discussion we had a long time ago, that that checks out. Uh, 
oh yeah, we talked about this a long time ago. Like, about it. This was, this has been a very long time ago. Cloud chaser. I guess, I guess, uh, that means I just don't have enough clout to chase anymore. Fuck. I really am a loser. Alexa, play Untitled by Simple Plan. I apologize if I activated anybody's Alexis from that. Turning the frogs gay. <laughs> Dude, that's good. man. That's the biggest kick in the dick is when the people who only exist to chase your clout no longer show up because you no longer have clout to chase. Oh, that hurts. That hurts. That is, I'm I'm deeply offended. I actually am upset. For legal reasons, I'm only like ninety percent joking. There, there is a small kernel of truth to this uh, exaggeration, but oh, make the turn! Oh, I kiss the wall. Yeah, I didn't like. They left of their own accord. I tried to be inclusive, but they're just like nah. <laughs> And again, I was at the forefront of um, the whole uh, backlash of the, uh, the the British car and the whole white supremacy thing. It's shit's fucking wild, man. People are uh, humans are an interesting species. And I have to say, surely something evolves that is more intelligent than us eventually. Ah, fuck. This is... we're... we're terrible. Be punching down. <laughs> Holy shit, Reaper. Honestly, I weaponized myself, Zero. Because, like, you don't say that. You don't, you don't say, like, listen. You don't use being trans as your personality. Like, full stop. And being trans does not mean you're a fucking... Uh, automatically now a, uh... I mean, you are definitely a minority who gets shit on by the, like, the common man, but, like, it's not like, you have white supremacy, this person has white supremacy now because I'm trans. When the person they're claiming has white supremacy isn't even white. Like to scare good number of people massively insecure. You're just describing me, Reaper. That is an accurate description of me. <laughs> also, for someone who hates conflict so much, I sure engage in a lot of it on the internet. That's entirely a me problem. I win, by the way. Oh shit, Sakuba's next. Let's go. Kuba fun. I like Sakuba. By the way, 
and if somebody like new is here and maybe take what I'd said about that whole rant like oh he hates trans people no fucking love uh, trans rights are human rights trans people are people uh, don't be a bigot <laughs> but also don't use your uh, gender identity as a personality Like, it's not your personality. Conflict with my head. Just a little... Amongst... Amongst us. I finished the joke for you. I'm sorry this has kind of turned into a drama dump. <laughs> Did not intend for this to happen, but like I'm also not going to stop it. We're we're too far in. I'm not going to stop it until it gets too malicious at least. I mean, I've done plenty of ranting tonight, so like go off kings. <laughs> Yeah, the floodgates are open. Fuck it. This is gonna be a very spicy several segments of the Let's Play. <laughs> it's fine. Get some race cars in the, in, in, in the middle of it. Arby's Meat Mountain. Arby's Meat Mountain. <laughs> Thank you, RKD, for the resub. Man, I haven't had one of those since, like, the first time I got one and posted the fucking picture. <laughs> Totally eat one of those again. Oh, fuck, I missed what Zero said. Oh, it had something to do with Keenan and trying to remove people from the community. Alright, two laps down, we're up to fourth. Oh, 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 a big slide. Oh, a big slide. Holy shit. All right. Didn't like that. Not a fan of what just happened. Holy shit. Keen about tails. Ah. Uh. Remember how they'd always ask Keen about details with his goings on once up to his people here? Oh god, that's a lot of info that I've removed from my fucking cranium. I actually don't remember the speech at all. I, I do vaguely remember constantly fishing for, like, details, though. Fun for the whole family. <laughs> Just in cell behavior, you. Comments, okay. Just forgot the word comments. Fair enough. <laughs> As someone who also forgets common words a lot of the time, I, yeah, I understand. It took me like five minutes to remember the word sabotage last night. I'm now thinking of the Beastie Boys. <laughs> it's sabotage! Active, look. Got your own life, Leo. Busy life. 
you're not obligated to be here at all, ever. Totally understandable. Back in. Yeah. Yeah, it was kind of like a behind the scenes build up. Oh, Jesus Christ. Alright, we're drifting turn one. How we doing? What's up? <laughs> It's in the game. Why I say it? <laughs> I sung that to the tune of the Saved by the Bell theme. I don't understand what's happening right now. I've literally never watched that show. It was not on my mind. It just happened. So, so what was their craft? You learned vicarious through through others, clearly. And never actually apply anything yourself. Da, 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 da. I win. Ooh, queen race bonus, let's go. Oh fuck, one more race, we're at 10 million. Oh fuck, bud. It's gonna happen. I also have not saved a replay yet for this league. I've now saved a replay for this league. Alright, two races to go. In the GTR Cup. Back to Tokyo. This time we're doing the uh, south loop of the expressway. So let's go. Uh, never mind, Comcast says no. Alright, good. I, I thought for a second the stream was actually going to drop. It, it was hanging on zero for a while. The number zero, not the person in chat zero. Not allowed to look at anyone else's works, the fuck? That's fucked, fiends. That was fucked. <clears throat> Alright, I hope you like pixels, because you only get a good few of them. What's up, Echo? How we doing? I, I, I apologize that uh, Zero and RKD said uh, good things about me and misled you. <laughs> I'm only half kidding. I, I, I'm... That's a wall, by the way. Probably shouldn't hit those. Also, Night Night Race. Excuse me, pardon me. We're just talking about some stuff. Oh, yeah. We're kind of going down a uh, memory lane. This has been a very rant filled uh, night of Gran Turismo. Hey, yo, Zero, look at you with the gift sub. You beautiful person, you. Shut the fuck up, take my money. Look, you already gave me a video game that I enjoy so much. You don't gotta do that. Yeah, that's fucked, fiends. Like, I've been ghosted by people who I considered really good friends, and in hindsight I realize it's my entirely my fault that they ghosted me, but at least they never fucking, like, reached out to me, like, a long time later and just told me that, yeah, fuck you. Yeah. Shit's fucked. If they give me a shovel, oh fuck, dude. Let's have a therapy session. <laughs> yeah. 
Some people just never learn. Unfortunately, they're one of them. For you. A grand therapy sport. That's what the T stands for. Oh. Oh man, I don't even remember any, any of that RKD. Holy shit. I will say I do remember a um the <laughs> uh fuck I don't even know what I was gonna say I I know what I'm gonna say I just can't remember I, I forgot the words yes. I didn't even know that was a, like I don't even remember those times to be perfectly honest. I remember there was like a recent. Uh, I want to say, I guess, controversy involving me. I'm sure I said I, I reacted in some fucking dumb way. Well, not dumb way, but angry way to some fuck shit. Labeled a uh, got labeled a racist, which, to be fair, the language I used to use absolutely would label me as a racist. <laughs> but uh, TLDR, there's some people that are still here that I did not ex expect to still be here. So I'm missing a lot of what's being said in chat right now. I have the font size kind of large because uh, I can't see. So I apologize if I miss a lot of context. Yeah. To be honest, I full full uh uh Transparency, I also have talked shit about RKD in the past. But again, people can mature and learn from mistakes, and uh, the stream will die. Comcast, you're ruining a moment. It's doing that thing where it's going 3,000, 0, 3,000, 0, 3,000, 0. That was one it was doing when my internet was fucked. During that week. Okay, I think we're back now. Uh, Alright, anyways, if... I'm just going to repeat what I said in case any of it got lost in the the buffer. Um... Uh, full transparency, I also was one of those people who talked shit a lot about RKD in the past, but, like, also people are able to learn <laughs> and grow as people. And I don't have reason to shit talk. Wheeze. Anyways, thank you for watching this very uh, low bit rate race. We might be recovered soon. This is the point where the YouTube audience is like, what the fuck is he talking about? It looks fine. It's a, it's a Twitch issue, don't, don't worry. Hey, we're at 10 million credits now. There's a video game I'm playing, by the way. <laughs> Oh, fuck. Alright, final race. We're going to Fuji. Let's go. Fuji. I like Fuji. Fuji's a fun track. Yeah. I mean, I was a fucking idiot, too. Like, there's a lot of things I can think of, like, look back on myself and be like, God damn, I really was like that. He's at least I'm better now.
the weather occurrence. The weather occurrence. I don't even understand the context, but that's funny. Oh, I understand it now. Weather, that's very good. I, I get it now. Sometimes there's just moments where you kind of have to like reflect and remind yourself that you're in a better place now without them. Even if it still does sting. Or like you don't want to, you know, remember those times. Glass of water. Hydrate yourself, friend. Sip the water. Fuck, I remember that. I remember that. That's, like, the big problem was, like... Sometimes you can be too inclusive and just let the shitty people run amok. Good. Man, you didn't know any better. We, we were all young and dumb. Some of us, me, are old and dumb. <laughs> but I'm referring exclusively to myself in that one. Yeah, and it's easy to, it's easier to trust people when you don't know any better. That's like not a fault to you, because again, like how are you? How how are you supposed to know? That's me. Oh god. So oh god, that leads me into a hilarious work story. Actually, a funny one instead of a rant about the incel one for once. Uh. <laughs> That was a wild turn one, by the way. So, um... Uh, me and the work homie was having a crisis, like, one day last week. Cause, uh... We recently got a, like, newer, uh... Shift manager. Hi, welcome to Therapy, Niles. Um... Uh, we got recently got a newer shift manager, and uh, she is very young, as in like 19 years old. Um, but uh, so I don't know what the fuck happened. I kind of came in like after the crisis already began. Thank you, cat. <laughs> Appreciate that. Um, After the crisis already began, but he was uh, very upset that she, a 19-year-old person who was, you know, a toddler during their fucking peak, uh, had never heard of Green Day. He he was going through it. <laughs> he was going through it. <laughs> and I came to the realization that uh, we are now the boomers. <laughs> Was it? I forgot about 21 guns. I don't know. I associate like Green Day's relevance with American Idiot.
But yeah. And then there's like old country artists apparently she had never heard of, and he was like having he was having a fit. It was very funny. It was very yeah. I know it was 2004. I thought that's where they peaked. I thought that was where they like the the last time they were relevant in the fucking mainstream. The, the TLDR was, Work Homie was having a crisis about this, and it was very funny. It was extremely funny. God, yeah, I remember, like, them trying to hype up Uno Dos Trace, and it was like, shit. Or just bombed. That's the last I ever heard of Green Day. Outside of people reminiscing about like Dookie and American Idiot. I just thought it was funny how like upset he was getting that uh, our much younger uh, shift manager had never heard of these uh, artists that we grew up with. Coming commonplace and I hate it. <laughs> I mean, you can still enjoy poopy albums like me. I, I love Saint Anger. I think that's all that really needs to be said about that subject. Hey, we won the GTR Cup. It didn't take a whole ass hour, it only took like a half an hour. Alright. Sweet. So that's another series of races done, so uh, let's rant over some more races afterwards, I guess. We're up to 45 wins now, or 54. I read the right numbers, I just read them in the wrong order. Anyways, <laughs> I need a drink. That was an extremely spicy part. Holy fuck. Alright. Anyways, on to our next uh, beginner league. Uh, we're halfway at least. Anyways, next up is the Compétition de France. For French cars. Recommended uh, in 300, I guess. So we can drive literally any French car we want, I guess. All I have in my garage is the uh, the A110 and the two Clios I have. So, this is the typical opponents. That Gordini is so fucking cute. I want to drive it, but I know I won't be able to win with the Gordini, so I'm not going to. Let's see. Dude, there are people who can legally buy cigarettes and alcohol in America that were born after 9-11. I hate it here. Genuine, like, cope and seethe. France, damn it. Alright, uh... Where do I want to go? Go to Pojo? Maybe... 2.8 GTI by Peugeot Sport, maybe. Oh, don't worry, All-Star is eternal. That shit won't go away no matter how hard we try. Um, you know what? I think... I really want to get drive the Renault Gordini, but I know that it's not going to be fast enough. Really want to drive it though. 
Um. Fuck it, I'm gonna get the Pojo. Rick Astley, for better or worse, will never give us up. Alright, I don't know if this is gonna be OP, but I'm gonna get the, uh, the 208. That's a goal. Oh god, the IGCD thing. Oh god, the fu- that shit. That person. Yeah, the fucking, uh... The, the, hmm. <laughs> hmm. France. What did I just buy? A Pojo. Cool. It's GTI. Only had a GameCube. <laughs> Pokey car. Oh shit! It's a si oh, it's a Scizor and a Pikachu. Okay, that's cute. Don't like it, but it's cute. That looks kind of cool. I like that. About this, ooh, that's cool. Oh, what do we hear? Ooh, okay. Yep, this is the one. That's that's what we're driving. I like that. Worse than just this too far. What a fucking insult in the- in 2021. Holy shit. Golden Eye. Luckily, Golden Eye is coming to, uh, Switch, I guess. The, uh, the N64 thing on Switch. What kind of insult is that? Your mum gay. It's okay, this is the guy who, this is the same person who uh, also defends a, uh, a known pedophile. So, you know. Insults are not what their strong suit is. Anyways, Competition de France. Cute sporting, a clash of the unique. An event for French cars. Yeah. Alright, so, we got five, la five races again. And our first race is going to take place at Blue Moon Bay. Infield Bay. Yeah. God, yeah. So, um, I was actually reminded of that explosion recently because someone watched that GT3 video and, like, left a comment about it. Like, holy fuck, dude. <laughs> that person's crazy. Like, yeah, I know. Oh man. Ugh. That was so fucking insane. Alright. I'm just gonna leave things stock for now. If this is too fast, I'm going to, uh, I'll, I'll down tune it. Actually, there's a lot of 208s here. Fucking stream was wild. It was insane, man. I wish. Again, I wish I had realize this like as it was happening instead of like way like later after the fact but the fact that like the person was trying to defend themselves be like it was just a gift sub uh you know what happened every time that person got a gift sub to this channel they uh denied it which i didn't even know was a feature because they were literally the only person who ever used that feature Like, sorry, I only accept gift subs to very specific channels. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> hmm. Oh, excuse me, pardon me. Yeah, we're definitely down tuning this thing in the next races. I'm already up to fourth. We still have five laps to go. Hidden banger episodes. Wasn't there an Eva Destruction part that also had like 
a fantastic moment. And not just the one where the fucking dude who, like, went off a ramp and hit a wall, like, 30 feet in the air, right in front of me. Oh, yeah, yeah, the you lost a sub guy. Can that shit? It subs me. He ain't building nothing. Man, we have so many in-jokes from, uh, removing shitty people from this community. It's, it's honestly hilarious. Very good source of memes. He deleted his fucking account, man. It was... Poetic. Not even poetic, it was just goddamn hilarious. <laughs> no mercy. It's okay, Ludo, I'm playing a Gran Turismo game. Some idiots are bound to come around eventually. Who's getting pissed? Well, I'm no longer among you. Jesus Christ, more. <laughs> That's so fucking bad. This is funny. Exactly, Gravy. This game's literally unplayable now that Seven's out, didn't you know? Immortalizing <laughs> that quote. <laughs> Type it, print it, frame it, hang it on your wall. Shit, Reaper, you just ban him reason among us. Oh my god. Where'd you even find that? Where'd you even find that? Oh, hang on, stream's dying for a moment. Oh, you found a zero? That's amazing. Oh, you found that thing. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Pretty sus. Blue Monday. Isn't that a song? Song title. Comcast, please. Can you stop being shit for five seconds? Thank you. <laughs> oh, never mind. Okay, five seconds are up. <laughs> so, so much for this new modem being, like, way better. I, I don't want to talk about what just happened on the track there. I just completely fucking missed the turn. I'm distracted by my internet not allowing the, the stream to go. Again, it's probably not affecting you nearly as much as I think it is, but... I think that's what I learned last time I was having these problems, but it's still annoying that it's happening. Fuck, it's popping chat. Oh god, yeah. Like... Like, I got nothing against, like, furries, like... What about those dragon wall? I try. Um, like, I got nothing against furries. It's absolutely not even remotely my thing. And as long as they're not, like, sexual with it, I don't have a problem. It's the fucking weird ones who are like, Oh, yes. I want to fuck a bear. That's, that's the ones I have a problem with. That's the ones who are weird. Shit.
do I want to redact it for some reason? Like, it's 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 still one of those things where it's it's just like it's weird to me. And maybe I'm like a bigot for not getting it, but like. <sighs> Like, it's, it's just weird, man. Like, I'm down bad for a lot of these VTubers because of all the human features, not because of the fucking tail. <laughs> and the ears. Anyways, race one down, we're going to Sukuba for race two. <laughs> This is the part where I become the shitty person, by the way. I guess. Two files. Yeah, no. Like. I don't know. Just the whole idea, like, the whole idea of, like, I guess I can't sep. Like. I can't separate the whole. Like being attracted, sexually attracted to an animal, and being sexually attracted to an anthropomorphic animal. Like... Like, sure, it, sta it, it stands like, has, stands like a human, but that's still a fucking dog. It just, it don't sit, it doesn't sit well with me. Rated by multiple furries as well. Oh, dude, Russell, Chaos Fox, he's a furry, but like, he's a good bean. He's a, he's a genuinely good person. And, and his fursona is actually kind of cute. Just a cute, fluffy, uh, fluffy dog. Or fo do fox, 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 dog, fox. I don't know what the fuck. Whatever his fursona is. Fuck yeah. Just don't be mad fucking awkward to it. Like, whatever. It's all shit to me. Hmm. I've only heard good things about him. Yeah. Like, if you're, if, like, you're a furry, just, like, have a fursona just because, like, I think it would be cute to imagine myself as this anthropomorphic panda or something. There's nothing wrong with that. Like, again, not my thing. I don't fully understand it. Go off, King. It's when you sexualize and be weird about it. That's that's when it kind of becomes like, I don't know, Chief. That's, we're, we're reaching uh, not good territory here. Generic people. You know what? That's, that's perfectly fine, Echo. I mean, I personally kind of just prefer the human aspect. Like, again, there's a lot of VTubers I like that are, like, you know, basically humans with animal f features. But, like, when it comes to me, while I can, like, Mio, for example, from Hololive. Mio, fucking cute. Uh, her ears are cute. Tail, the way she, like, curls her tail around her thigh is cute. But, like... Also, the human proportions? Mmm... I forgot to down-tune this car, by the way. Oops. Actually, robot. Oh shit, robot VTubers are cool. And spe speaking of robots, I am very down bad for Zen and her uh, Halloween outfit. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Good lord in heaven.
I mean... Like... Yeah, you, you shouldn't have to be treated like that, Zero. That's... That's entirely on them. It's not your fault for... Like... Holding a grudge and not wanting to associate with them because of that. It's their fault for being that way. Anyways, I really hoped I explained my whole thing with the furry community in a way that was not offensive. Again, having a fursona is not a bad thing. Just don't be weirdly sexual about it. Anyways, uh, two laps it's to go with Sakuba here. I'm, I'm racing. I'm playing a video game, by the way. <laughs> this is something that's going to be archived forever on YouTube until Google shuts that down. YouTube will be the last thing Google ever shuts down. Yeah, like, like, I care about the person. <laughs> like, as long as they're not pushing their shit onto me. Or like pushing. Like, again, it's the whole, like, thing I have with the, like, trans people who use that as their personality. Like, being a furry is not a personality. <laughs> like, a primary personality trait. You don't go, Hi, I'm Steve, and I'm a furry. You, you go, Hi, I'm Steve, I'm a cool guy. And, uh, you know, I'm kind of nice, down to earth. I have this persona as well, because I think it's cool. <laughs> God, dude, I was I was unfortunately uh, exposed to that during the height of fucking friendship is magic more because I actually watched that shit. I was one who got roped into the My Little Pony bandwagon, but unfortunately there were a couple people I knew who got into the um, the the porn side of that bandwagon. Steve Arcanine's Match.com profile, <laughs> bitch, I might have. <laughs> Yeah. Fun fact, one of the people that was part of the friend group at the time, one, got re removed from the friend group because they were a shitty person, and two, they're just straight up a, uh, an awkward, a, a weird sexual flavor of furry now. Yeah, it's, it's an identity, it's not a personality trait. Those things are separate. Supersonic cringe. I don't know. I'm not really based. I'm quite cringe. <laughs> the Greyhound Bots logo. Unreliable. It's elite. Damn, Gravy. I guess I can put my gun down. You shot yourself. Sonic fan, go figure, cringe. I do be a fan of the Hedgehog. By the way, uh, go play Spark the Electric Jester 3. <laughs> Hi, I'm gay. <laughs> I don't know why that was so funny to me. I'll say his village. <laughs> uh, yeah, I know. Imagine Sonic fans. Imagine, uh,. Imagine watching some fucking dude who likes Sonic the Hedgehog and is currently playing uh, Gran Turismo Sport at twitch.tv slash rhinogt4. Honestly, I watched the first two seasons of Friendship is Magic. It was actually pretty damn good. I started to watch season three, but I kind of lost interest because of the whole... Um, 
I really did not, I really wanted to no longer see porn of these fucking horses, so, uh, th thanks for ruining the show for me. People I used to. Full-time smart player. Honestly, I would like to play Spark, Spark 3 again. Yeah, hang on. Are you ready for a French dab around all states village? Oh, I'm sorry. I, my dabs are getting worse. You know, funnily enough, the only Sonic racing game I've ever played was Sonic Drift. <laughs> you would think, right? With the with the, with the my the those two worlds colliding, that I would be playing the fuck out of Sonic racing games. I sure haven't. Don't ask how. Goes all the time. Only when I'm using my wheel. Oh shit. Oh fuck. I'm sorry. Oh god. Dude, honestly, I wouldn't, wouldn't mind watching, like, the original Sailor Moon, like, actually understanding what show is. Fucking can- oh yeah, I have played Riders, that's right. I have played Sonic Riders, because, uh... I still don't understand how that game works. <laughs> I actually never bought Zero Gravity. I should probably add that to my collection at some point. Grave value Kirby's here, right? I just remember the Omochawa announcer and riders being incredibly annoying. <laughs> Yeah, pretty much more, pretty much. Like there is some, there's a lot of, there's some people on the internet who are just uncomfortably horny, and it's very, it, it kills the vibe, man. Not a, not a fan. Like, yes, I also want to be stepped on, but Jesus Christ, <laughs> time and place, read the room. That's an unfortunate typo, Ludo. That is an unfortunate typo. A horse type, it's it's okay. Let's just let's just scroll that off screen, it'll be fine. I had an arc. Oh, you got the new Intel GPU? That's cool, Reaper. I'm sorry. <laughs> Very down arc. Insert pirate waifu here. Daytona, let's go away. <laughs> Thank you, Gravy. <laughs> Keep the keep the the keep the horny for the respective channels. The flow it. How's the new Intel GPU creature? <laughs> That's why there will never be a not safe for work channel in my Discord. Just, uh, I ain't doing it, Chief. If you want to share some fucking spicy shit, DMs exist for that. I should know. I do that exact thing. <clears throat> yeah, t 
tasteful anime art. God, they're those cheeks. <laughs> Not to you, boy. Look, man. Be a degenerate. Hmm. Funnily enough, I'm not specifically referring to you, Reaper. I don't... By the way, I don't know what's going on in the back of this car's livery, but it's, um... It's something. <laughs> Retweets alone. Dude, I'm always, like, arguing myself of, like, how... Where I should put the line in terms of how much boob I should re... I, I'm allowed to retweet. <laughs> Like, I have to carefully look at all the art. I think, oh, I'm going to retweet this. It's like, make sure... Make, make, make sure there's no, there's no pantaloons being shown. The whole titties. <laughs> Good amount of boob to a professional. <laughs> Yeah, Reaper is, uh, Reaper uses me as his, um, the fucking anime tit, top, tw uh, tid, 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 timeline. Oh, ugh. Lalisha is just a, basically another form of pedophilia. Just, bleh. Niles. Look, some days are hornier than others, alright? Some days I'll go, like, I'll retweet just full fucking bikini. How how do you do, sir? My nipples are barely covered. And then other days I'm like, uh, she's showing, like, like, more than 10 pixels of cleavage. I probably shouldn't. a constant struggle with myself and my penis. <laughs> Los melones. That's what I like about summer art, because you can get away with that, because it's like, hey, they're in a... It, it's summertime, they're in a swimsuit, tee -hee. You want to be Piss. I still need to figure out that pissing minigame in Yakuza. I hate that that's an actual sentence I had to say. Alright, anyways, that's all, Sace. I have one round three. The post nut clarity. Uh, anyways. Ooh, Brands Hatch Indie. Hell yeah, let's go. Love me some Brands Hatch Indie. Billy Deegan in the 98 Xfinity? Hmm. Eh. Seventy Deegans. How bold of you to assume that you're gonna limit it to seventy? Okay, I have downtuned this car, alright. I couldn't remember if I actually downtuned it or not. Let's go to Brain Hatch! That's disgusting and old, yeah. Man, there's been a couple VTubers that, like, are just... <laughs> well, not a couple. I know one specifically that, like, got outed as a shitty, manipulative person. I'm glad that I do not see any content from them anymore in any, like, circle. 
stuff. Dude, Call Alive, like, a lot of them love just, uh, hovering over that fucking edge with their thumbnails. There's been a lot of spicy art Callie has used for her thumbnails. Same year as Motorsport 4, to be honest. Did Forza 7 come out in 17? Let's see. Hang on. 5, 7, 9, It did come out in 17, did it? No, it didn't. Did it? No. Yeah, yeah. Art. Pomu's got fucking feet in her mouth. <laughs> oh my god, Pomu. Dude, Ninji Sanji is like a level of unhinged I've never seen. It's. It, they're insane. It's fucking ridiculous. God, I can't wait for Inna's new outfit and for her to mauled. And continue this Joker arc. Today is the fifth anniversary of FM7. Yeah, 2017, huh? Damn. I didn't realize FM7 is five years old. <laughs> to be honest, here's an actual fact. That's. That's why I found funny about that, by the way. Like, well, to be honest with you, that's that's something you say when you're about to state an opinion. Yeah, that's gonna go nuclear. Dude, I am here for it. I am here for it. Everyone with Poopa is getting it. Dude, the great fucking... The great Anna, Anna Alouette versus the world. Rivalry is about to begin. Does it look like a penis? Look, if your penis is curves that hard, uh, you need to. You probably should uh, go to a doctor about that. <laughs> Luca, bro. Oh, yeah, isn't Luca the one where like they they keep joking about how he has bigger boobs than Anna? <laughs> oh, I'm paying attention. Yeah, it's fucking hilarious. Dude, Ninji Sanji is some of the most enter like, so fucking entertaining. They're so... The fact that, like, the girls and the guys, like, coexist, like, together, where it's not, it's not like a thing with, like, Hollow Live and Hollow Stars, where the men and the women are kind of separated for the most part. Plus the fact that they're all just fucking insane. And like they're all, com they're all like similar but different flavors of fucking insane, and they work so well with each other. And it's Jesus Christ. <laughs> She's gonna fucking graduate. Turns out her outfit reveals her graduation stream. Like I'm done with this shit. <laughs> Fuck you all. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> I can't believe this. I live for the Niji Diane. Long forever. Oh, yeah, I know. Trust me. And for recently, there was that controversy with fucking Crony. Which finally, the, the uh, she uh, kind of came around and be like, Actually, no. Who cares if I collab with the dude? That's, that's a you problem, if you don't like that. Dude, they're never not wild and out. I've also, like, tried to watch some Skarl streams. She's, um... She's a character. <laughs> she is a character. <laughs> oh, dear. Date with Skyrim, need to focus. No, no problem, Echo. Thanks for, uh... Thanks for tuning in. Appreciate it. I just realized the uh, second place is named Montoya, but they're Canadian instead of Colombian.
you don't have yeah you don't have opposite sex friends did I save a replay for this yet I don't think I have I'll save the last race in case I didn't and the last race is gonna be Magior East okay let's go Making her rounds. Wondering why my glass of tea is no longer sweating, therefore she can't drink the sweat. Oh. Seems like a good bean. And as shitty as a person as I am, and I kind of get toxic at uh, dumb shit easily, uh, I, I try to be welcoming. Dude, I really want the Hellsinger soundtrack to go on Spotify, because fucking Heafy has a good vocals on one of the songs. Oh no! <laughs> we fucking played each other! God damn it! Son of a bitch! <laughs> Can't even be mad about that one, we're fucking stupid. All I had to do was not overshoot and I would've won, god damn it. <laughs> I just followed him in the wall. Oh, all right. Well, you know, dude, he played me so hard. He's like, I'm going to fuck up to make this guy fuck up. <laughs> I thought of something funnier than twenty-four. Sprinkle, can we talk about the whole tier three thing? And how you should stop. You should stop. <laughs> stop it. I don't deserve it. Ow. Anyways, 25, very funny. Thank you, Sprinkle. <laughs> monkey see, monkey do. Man. I went full fucking just ooh ooh ah ah. I returned to monkey in that final turn. Bad. Hopefully I don't drive like shit this time. Reaper. Friend. Pal. Tiny Alpine. Small, small Alpine. How fucking slow do I need to take this turn? And here's the Gordini. said your name, I swear to god. I heard every neuron <laughs> fire at once. Listen, Reaper. Yes. There's a lot of things in life I'm deprived of. Someone... A, a, a female speaking to me in any kind way is one of those things. Even if it absolutely did not matter, even slightly. It gave me five seconds of serotonin. He struck out with something. You got Ellie and Pikmi, yeah. three stays until I'm in the poorhouse. I'll fucking steal all your money. I'll just rob you. That way you can't give me more. I'll take your money so you can't give me more. <laughs> That's how that works, right? To clip the raid comedy. <laughs> fucking puppet, yeah. Man, I should have clipped the uh, the Ellie raid. Just as a reminder that no one will ever love me. Suck it out of my cold dead wallet. Oh, I'll be sucking all right. I'm 
I'm sure you have some Tootsie Pops in there, right? Dang one. Fucking... Alright, Mr. Likes to Live Dangerously. A blow pop bottom. <laughs> hey, I might actually win this time. Does he pop top? slower exit than I wanted, but <clears throat> we're still in there. Where are you going, Palumbo? <laughs> Where are you going, bud? This has been a very interesting uh, stream, that's for sure. There's been a lot of uh, a lot of weight released. A lot of mental weight released. There we go. I didn't fuck it up this time. Good shit. Oh, lots of ranting. Lots of ranting. And there we have. Dude, we had like three separate like hour long rants. I have left a note for my future self. Hey, you even got a clean race bonus. Let's go. Love to see it. All right. Well, that took a couple tries, but we got the dub in the end. <laughs> we were teeing off, yeah. There we go, the Compétition de France is complete. And that is our ninth uh, Beginner League done. We have six to go. Oh boy, we're at 59 wins. So, uh, I, I, yeah. <laughs> oh no. Oh yes. <laughs> Sunny. What is it? Zero gets decapitated. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that was funny. That was that was funny. Uh okay. Um Let's do one more. Let's do one more for tonight. It's always sussy in Philadelphia. So this is going to be an interesting one because we're doing we're racing race cars for our next cup, the Group Four Cup. So uh, yeah, it's time to get in our Group Four cars, I guess. I have a few. So oh, there's a lot of Group Four cars. Holy shit! There's so damn many. Alrighty then, well, uh, I guess I'll just pick something from my garage instead of buy something new, because, uh, I don't know. But we'll find plenty of power and excellent handling these Group 4 races, yes. What the hell is going on in this poster? It looks like a head-on collision about to happen. I'm scared. Uh, what car do I want to use? Let's see. Can I sort by mileage? Distance driven. All right, I have not driven any of these. Let's drive. I have the Alpha. I like the Alpha. It's always sunny at Twitch. Oh, that's not good, Mora. That is unfortunate.
All right, here we go. Ooh, racing tires are permitted for this. Ooh. I'm using hard tires. Just if you hard, then you hard. All right, so let's do our first race in the GT League in race cars. And uh, away we go. Willow Springs, four laps. Let's do this. 20 car race. Our largest field yet in the GT League. I'm starting right smack dab in the middle. So away we go. Work then you hard, play then you hard. <laughs> Interesting how we're... This is in the beginner league and not like the amateur league or something. Oh jeez, hi, how you doing Evo? Oh god, I'm sorry. I'm trying not to murder you, I swear. Yeah, if you hard, then you hard. That's good night, hell yeah. We take those dubs. I live. Damn fans, are you in it, Alouette? Famous streamer from uh, Niji Sanji uh, EN. Wow! Went for the spicy overtake, it almost backfired immensely. Excuse me, pardon me. You're up to fifth. Yeah, I figured the Group 4 series would be in like the Amateur League. Nope, finger in the league. That almost sounded really bad. I almost made a, a very unfortunate uh, 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 voice mistake there. Beginner. Beginner. I almost uh, crossed the uh, uh, crossed the uh, the the N's and the G's. This isn't 2015 anymore. I don't do that. I did the math. Yeah. Alright, two down, two to go. Here are the leaders. Luckily, we're still in the beginner league, so, uh, hi, rubber band, how you doing? Hi, Audi, how you doing? Goodbye. Alpha Supremacy! At least in this one specific, uh, 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 scenario. Ooh. Alright, that kind of rotated more than I expected. That was a slightly larger rotate. Or stronger rotate. Let to go in Willow. Right, 
Give me the ick, you. Never follow your dreams. Or let your dreams be dreams. Oh shit. Oh god. Oh, mid-engine car. I keep taking that way too slow. Help. Help! How do I will up? Bye. Falling apart. God, a fistful. No way. That is unthinkable. Beautiful, no. But that shit can never be yours. I win. I conquered race one of group four. Aha. Okay, I can scroll down. Every time I press the button to scroll down, it fucking activates the rear camera. Or the rear view camera. Good night, Leo. Blue, jeez. Alright. One down. And six to go. Let's head to Sakuba for race two. Barely far. Lost him. Christ. That is, uh. Well, have a good morning then, Ludo. That was an interesting sound. Don't know if that was a correct sound. Alright. Well, time to do some uh, self BOP. How much fucking weight am I adding? 2249 to 2698. Alright, fuck it. 400 pounds of ballast. Let's go. Let's fucking go. We go six laps of Sakuba. Oh my god, the field is so spread out. What is this? The six lap race uh, taking place on lap 35. It starts on lap 35 and ends at lap fucking 40. Bloodo. Move. Yeah, Oh, McLaren. Oh, McLaren. Hi, McLaren. Oh. I haven't had any uh, problems on my end recently. Oh, jeez, Louise. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Sounds nice. We're up to seventh. 
We got the lead gap down to uh, a lot lower than it started with. Jesus Christ, they're stopping. Yeah, I think that might be a U issue, Fiends, unfortunately. I just want to go back to Me. Easy. All right, we're reducing power for the next race. Adding four hundred pounds of weight is not enough. Shout out those accents on this uh, Citroen. Oh, da, 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 all right. Well, played myself. Oops. Pass you again, bud. That sounds like a good idea more. Leap is nice. The mid engine baby. Do not know how to uh, 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 accept genuine compliments.exe. Go. Yeah. Are you seeing MCR? The boys. trying to fall apart. Final lap. That was almost a sub one minute. Sakuba. It's, it's, things have calmed down dramatically <laughs> in the past 10 minutes. Got the dub. Got a sub one minute lap as well. Very cool. No clean race bonus, unfortunately. Oh well. It will. All right, two down, five to go. Ted race three, it's just gonna be at Suzuka. Oh shit. All right, 
I might not lower the power. <laughs> We'll see. The Sukuba wasn't really a uh, track that required a lot of horsepower. Had to have a really good grippy car. I'll just keep it. I'll just keep it as is. So, two laps, six thirty in the morning. Starting tenth out of twenty. Starting way here, down here on the back straight. This has definitely been the most ridiculous rolling start so far in the GT League. All right, one thirty R is not a fourth gear corner in this car. before turn one, technically. Oh shit. Ooh, Viper. In the beautiful blue. Love fucking the Viper blue with white stripes. Iconic color combo. RCZ Group 4, it's cool. The RCZ in general is just really cool. It's curbs, it's so funny. <laughs> Speaking of really cool Group 4 cars, this is Magana up here. The trophy car. Aren't there two different Group 4 Magans? Excuse me. Oh, I wasn't intending on outbreaking the Merc here, but here we are. Oh god. Oh, where am I going? Where am I going? Oops. Comcast. Hello, buffering. Oh, hello, going wide at 130R. Jesus Christ, could you go any slower? Taking the lead. We'll do a whole lap. Just vibing out in front. Oh, big slide, big slide, holy crap. Burnout three. Rear end. <laughs> Funny.
day. It is, oh shit, it's the day of your birthening. Officially, as of now. Unfortunately, I do not have any hilarious birthday thing to do, just a uh, hi. And now I pay your rent. What the fuck? <laughs> Mother. Mother. I'm very high, I see. For legal reasons, marijuana is legal in his country of residence. Oh, Martha. Well, that's three races done. I'm absolutely limiting the power on this thing for the next race. Needs it. Oh, we've got mileage points are an achievement, and hey, the day has rolled over. New workout. Yeah. Mustang in last. All right, replay, save, thank you, thank you. What? I him exactly, absolutely. Yes. I would like to do that. I would like to do that. I put very little effort into that, I'm sorry. Go shoot a beer. Oh yeah. Okay. Fuji Speedway. The track where limiting this power is probably going to fuck me over, but it's fine. I don't give a fuck. I won that Suzuka race by like 8 seconds. So we're just going to limit the power. Oh my god, we're actually starting on the front straight. Wild. Man, they started us way back for Suzuka. Even the leaders like weren't even at the, hair the chicane yet. Kind of crazy. That was kind of a uh, odd. I ba ba ba. I assume to give it make the start easier, uh, be easier to start you down the back straight instead of going through 130R and into the chicane. Since you know beginner league, so like I, I guess it makes sense from that standpoint. A little weird though. We got three laps here, so plenty of time. I was so early on the brakes. <laughs> It's the Citroen. All around the outside like it ain't no thing. I'm already up to fourth. Here's where I'm going to lose time. I'm sure. It has been an experience, that's for sure. I'm gaining on the leader. Slipstream battle down the front straight. Sneak underneath the Lambo. 
beautiful maneuver. Oh god. Oh big. Oh fuck. Okay, we're good. Big slide. Well, that was easy. <laughs> Get around around the outside of George Russell's cousin. Sure was a uh, it was something. <laughs> four hour fifty one minutes. It's it it was the four hour fifty one minutes of all times. That's for sure. Russell. <laughs> On the sliding. That's Fuji Speedway, yeah. Made famous by world renowned drift series ESDA. Presented by Traction. Like we know who the shitty people are. You, you good, Zero. Right now, YouTube.com slash traction GG. Let's go. I don't know what I was doing. Actually pulled away? I'm surprised I pulled a gap and they weren't slipstreaming me. What's about the next level of racing? Da, 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 da. Fraction dot GG. Racing games, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, speaking of racing games, I have uh, installed something on my Switch today. Tee hee. Oh, apparently I said too much. Uh, my internet's being being fucked. NASCAR, it's actually cruising blast. Yet, um, that's for me to know and you to find out. Stay tuned to this space on Friday, maybe. Maybe. I haven't decided yet. grass so you can see things. <laughs> oh, I know. Cruising Blast is a blast. Money. Miles points. Ah, 16.9 miles. Nice. Nathaniel Russell in second. Alright, three races to go. I really scream no. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to Barcelona for the next race. That's fucking hilarious. <laughs> just fuck. Just mad to see you there just Yup, mm-hmm. And you hear No <laughs> Oh I, that's the funniest part, I know you're not joking. <laughs> You're on fire. <laughs> oh shit. Alright. Here we go. 
Race number five, Barcelona. Ooh, we get a cool flyover too. Ain't that cute. Oh my god, Kim Trails. They're done turning the frogs gay, they're gonna turn us gay now. Group brain cell has fired for a pun. <laughs> yeah. I'm now thinking of the other hilarious cruising related thing I've said in the past week that uh, upset Keenan greatly. <laughs> you gross. You gross, bro. Ew. Take a shower. Ew. <laughs> the cruising pun, I swear. Cruising <laughs> for a bruising. <laughs> Funny. I don't know why, but like, I imagine the no, like, I don't know why, but in my head, you're just sitting there with like a bowl of fucking oatmeal or something. Just, just like, vibing and then the neuron fired. Don't ask why specifically a bowl of oatmeal, that's just what my brain concocted. I think I played cruising when I went to Dave and Buster's that one time several months ago. <laughs> one two oatmeal to curry is a pink guy. <laughs> oh shit. Oh, thank you for the lane. Question mark? Uh, hey, we have uh, Fernando Alonso's uh, British cousin in the lead, Giorgio Alonso. Okay, now that's just that's just a straight up lie, Emerald. You're lying to me on the internet. How dare you? No one lies on the internet. I know. I'm I'm contributing to the joke. I'm making my own joke out of the uh, the, the 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 quote. <laughs> it's my favorite hobby. <laughs> There's so much happening right now. We we just got like five different flavors of joke within off the same fucking source. God damn, the brain cells are firing up again. <laughs> Rev up those fryers. We are all fucking stupid. You know what else is stupid? This chicane, I don't like it. One lap to go. Chicane moved. Now, I do like me some moving chicane. I do, I do enjoy that. Big fan of the moving chicane.
<laughs> rotating roundabout. But if it's round, can you really tell that it's rotating? Cruising chicane. <laughs> I have ruined your birthday. Just a matter of minutes. He <laughs> laughed. Get rotated. <laughs> oh, fuck. Man, if only Comcast would, like, enjoy the jokes. Instead, they're just trying to ruin everything. Well, since we're so close, we're, we're kissing, right? Twitch cheeks. I mean... I almost need to put this thing on sport tires to make it fair, but I don't think I can. Giorgio Alonso. Hi. Hmm. Hmm. Hold on. All right. No, uh, we still got two races left. Forgot to leave. No one forgets to leave. You must stay forever. We're going to spa. Time for a spa date. Later, Fresh. Show me your butthole moment. <laughs> butthole. Oh yeah, Talladega was this past weekend. Wonder how many buttholes are shown. Dude, fucking who was it? I think it was fucking Moonhead on the uh, shrimp cast last week. Hey, look, another flyover. More chemtrails. Um. Who said? Had a story along the lines of like some chick fucking showed flashed her titties but got showed up by an uglier chick who showed her butthole. Sequid de Uzi. <laughs> Beggars can't be cheap. Can't bring titties to a butthole fight. That's that's gotta be a brand new sentence. Dude, Talladega infield is like the ultimate Alabama experience. It's fucking crazy. Another alpha. Teammate. Hi, friend. Hi, friend. The Florida man goes slow.
Oh, jeez. Hi. Of course, he has an engine swap now. Oh, shit. I saw they fucking added the, uh... The Escudo engine to the swaps. Which is hilarious. Snake pit on drugs. On drugs. Very odd, dude. I can't wait to eat something. I haven't eaten anything today except for a fucking Reese cup. Goes to the Evo 10. Oh my god. Oh. Is that it? I feel. Imagine trying to put that in the Copen. <laughs> I don't know why I got Suzuki and Daihatsu mixed up, but shut up, I already said it. Hey look, a Veyron's leading. That's cute. There's an Apex over there. Being too small to get the spirit. <laughs> Oh yeah, the Copen VG. I mean, that's what I was thinking. Not just the Copen, but the the VGT Copen, the superior Copen. Already love that car. It'd be absolute insanity if you could put the Escudo engine in it. Jesus Christ! I keep forgetting that this is a beginner league AI, so I should stop trying to like race them legit. Because they're so goddamn slow. I abuse the swamps. Uh, you'll have to wait until they release Taurus Trophy 2. It's happening, trust me, I know. Taurus, I made it the fuck up. Sands up. <laughs> Sand Hero. Underscore F underscore Doom. I believe our first uh, GT League race at Spa done. One in dominant fashion. Five thousand credits. Let's go. I completed my daily workout, which means I get another free car. Oh, the cap has a swap now. Oh my god, real? Yo, fucking Dorito coffee. Let's go. Let's fucking go. Let's fucking go to the Red Bull Ring for our final race in the Group Four. Uh, whatever this is called. XR3. I ain't driving a fucking cap 1,000 miles to get a swap. Brappuccino! <laughs> Holy shit. 
Oh, it's a wet race, too. Hey. Oh damn, I can't use slicks. I can only use inters or wets. That's bullshit. It's no fun. Let me be stupid, game. Oh well, let's go. It's waning. The track is wet. Right, we got four laps here. Again, grip level isn't really lower on the wet track in this game, at least it seems that way. The two wet races, well, the one rep wet race I did. I'm probably gonna wait at least until the hot fix to touch the update at all. If I touch it, I'm kind of invested in finishing Kiwami 2 before I do anything else casually. Alright, he goes into the TT now. That's neat. I like how the skybox does not match the weather at all. Still got this beautiful sunset, but also it's raining. Thirty-two four. oh fuck. Alright, there's a little bit of loss of grip in the wet. Car did slide there as I was trying to like rip it full throttle. There's not much though. It's just slightly slicker. Fifth after one lap. Easily around the Mustang. Are we gonna have a drag race with this Merc? Or not. Okay. Sure. Just looking into the background at like the the rolling hills and the fucking the sky and everything. It just so beautiful. Conditions. Oof. Speaking of fucking racing in the rain, shout out to the uh, SCCA runoffs that were at VIR this weekend. Just running their races at, with like the fucking tip tip of a uh, hurt of a uh, Ian coming down. Wet and windy and wild. Well, fuck that up. Hello, Porsche. Goodbye, Porsche. Damn it. I did it again. Yeah. <laughs> 
<coughs> Excuse me. Holy fuck. Alright. That was a powerful one. Dude, those fucking, like, uh... Whatever, whatever it's called. The sun rays. Poking over the clouds, that shit's amazing. I'll try to point it out again in the last lap. Group 4 series. There you can see it right there as well. Oh, I was too busy looking at the sky. I missed turn 1. Whoops. Very picturesque. Those grandstands are quite a ways away. Alright, anyways, look at these sun rays. Shining over that clouds. It's fucking cool, man. Shoot too fast. Oh god. We're living. It's fine. It's, it's dusk. They know how to make a beautiful sunset. It's insane. I win! I did it. Who wins for this race? One. Uh, don't forget Grand Valley Reverse and GT3 Gravy. UT full. Force reverse, yeah. So there we go. That was the uh Thank you, Cat. That was the group four race. Your group four cup. All seven races done. So uh there we go. There's our first GT League Cup with uh race cars. We're up to sixty six wins. We've done sixty six total races so far in the GT League. Wow. Yeah, Cat's worse. All right, what we gotta get for our workout? Oh, group four, uh, Veyron. Okay. Cool. I guess. Still not a fan of the Veyron, but I like the group four variant because it's not stupid. But there we go. Oh yeah, we have some uh, achievements as well. So. Mileage points earned. I've earned 40,000 mileage points. Here's another thousand. More XP. Wasn't there another one I completed? Oh, playtime. Okay. 24 hours of playtime. Let's go. Been playing this game for a fucking day. And I'm not even close. So, hey, we're up to level 30 now. Which should mean... We now are an Emerald Driver. Which also means I think we've unlocked Endurance Races now.
the Endurance League. Let's take a look real quick. Hey, we have unlocked the Endurance League. That's cute. All right, well, that was that. So uh, uh, next time uh, we'll be more, more, more.